It's your boy, Young Kiyoma, aka the Daimyo of Kuri, aka Shogun, aka Nick, and who are y'all? It's Lil Uzi vs. Diamond, aka the Red Jewel, aka 20 Minute Man, PJ. What's going on, bro? <laughs> and it's your third host, Josh, aka JC, and welcome back to episode 16 of Tower Talk. How we doing today? We're here. Uh, episode 16. We here? The reason I say we here is because we're four episodes out from the next live streamed episode. We're officially, you know what I mean? That's also kind of crazy. It's also crazy that Josh always remembers the number of the episode. I never remember that thing until that nigga said it. I, I remember because I edit it. I'm like the most hands-off nigga in the podcast, actually. <laughs> Sucks. Hey, bring, bro, it'd be like the, that, uh, man. You bring the deeper thought, though. I was thinking about that as well. I was <laughs> like, why am I the nigga who brings serious conversation? Like, fuck. <laughs> Everybody chilling. Nick's like the lighthearted. Josh is like the let me break the ice with the not so friendly icebreaker. Turbulent. <laughs> 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 Nick Nick's like the yeah, <laughs> no, goddamn. God hey, that's the past, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, okay, so I actually want to talk about this low key, and All it's right. not, not nothing like serious or anything like that. Okay. But I actually really fuck with the fact that every episode after episode ten has had consistently at least ten views. Yeah, at least ten views on YouTube. That's true. That's crazy to me. We saw uh, Destiny, and people are liking it. Just a little disclaimer, if you were listening to episode, what was it, seven? Mm -hmm. That had no audio? <laughs> oh yeah, we found out episode seven on Spotify has no we audio. Apologize. I'm still in the process, I'm still in the process of having that to figure that shit out. I don't know how that happened, because I listened Neither to the MP... I. Bro, I listened to the MP3 for episode seven earlier today. It was fine, wasn't it? Yes. So that's just racist. Like on Anchor? That is... That, or... no, no, it's... So here's the thing, just Spotify. Just oh. the Spotify version of episode 7, no audio. Mm. That does smell like... That smells like racism, of, uh... don't it? Yeah, like... That is... Y'all that... smell, 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 smell a van? Y'all smell a van? Is that white van energy? Uh, that might be white van energy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it does smell like that. I don't know, How? bro. I don't know. And then they holding us on the Apple podcast. They want us. They won't let us get our bag. Hmm. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. Midlife crisis and depression. That sounds like white van energy. That does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some old nigga with a terrible back posture just plotting on our demise, guys. Shit, plopping on our demise. That boy can't even sit down right. That nigga built like Crocker. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Got the ear on his neck. Oh, no. Look at that, man. you just like, oof. Mr. Also, Crocker. Um, I, I also, finished... he, his last name is definitely racist. No oh, offense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Horror. I, I finished... What? Uh... <laughs> you go ahead. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> go back, back. Play Alice, like a... <laughs> Think about it. The hard R? It's the hard R. Dude, I thought about if you replaced the hard R with an A, bro. Hey, Mr. Crocker. Nah. Think about it, bro. Nah. Think about it. Nah. It's Dude, nah. He's, he's, to think he's about still it. gonna be racist, but it's like Mr. Hey, Crocker. He, yeah, he just feels like more hey, Mr. Crocker. Now to look that at sounds too. like that also kind of sounds like a nigga just saying Mr. Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Crocker. Oh my god. Where my money at? What? Is that? what is hey, yo, that? Crocker, where my money? <laughs> Talk about the berries. You don't fit to be fair. <laughs> Can you fucking finish it? John Tech is a much bro. Right. You gotta calm down. Hey, I'm... No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, it never happens right. here, bro. All right. So, I finished editing and uh, rendering episode five yesterday, right? Uh, on Friday. And. I fucking was, or episode five of season two, that's episode fifteen, and uh, that shit. There was a. 
Oh, there was a part in there I wanted to say something about, but I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Oh, fuck, I lost the topic because we were talking about crackers and crockers. Oh, no! <laughs> Crockpot. No way. Yes, sir. Not a fucking shot. <laughs> Put that nigga in a cooker. Yeah, we do this. Hey. Wow, this racism. There's racism. Sorry. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> it's racist. Yeah, yeah. The universe. Imagine if you woke up and a nigga said, like, I love it. It's like, love take what? a sip of your coffee. Racism. No, like, just yeah, take yeah. a sip of your coffee. Just... I love racism in the morning. Racism. Yeah. That might be keep... some Meek Mill lines, bro. When that nigga said, "How you wake up in the morning feeling evil?" I'm like, "Yeah, for real, bro. Like, how do you really? How do you really wake up in the morning just like I'm gonna fuck up someone's day? Like, it's like that. Is is it really like that? That nigga. Be more I concerned swear. about your day. You trying to fuck someone else's up? Trying to fuck someone else's up? You need to be concerned about your day. Cause obviously, yeah, that nigga got bad breath. <laughs> I think bad breath is the least of our problems. My nigga just praying on somebody to miles. Crazy. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. Nick, you were saying something? Yeah, uh, I, I forgot. So, that's... That's tragic. Yeah, it, it was one of those. Uh, look what racism does! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Off to a terrible start today. Oh no! I don't know about terrible. <laughs> oh no! I feel like at this point, uh, if you if you join, and you don't think that the first maybe 10, 15 minutes is gonna be just straight up banter, I don't know what you're here for. I like you could be here for the topic, but like, do you really want to wait about thirty minutes for the shit to get serious? Because I can't handle lighthearted conversations. Wow! <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> just being honest. All right. See now, if I were okay. to lie, then we just got a fake nigga here, huh? <laughs> okay. Mm. I see. Yeah. I see. I get it. I understand. That's true. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so I can't uh, actually. I can't actually like not handle it. It's just you know, you wait about thirty minutes and then it always goes steeper. So it's like you know. So how are y'all doing? What's, what's been right. going on? Same here. I'm doing good. Uh, All right. I will say, <laughs> um, my internet. Well, okay. So I'm. Oh, hold on. It... Gonna be uploading next week. Oh, so are. hopefully, my I'm right now. I'm using a hotspot. Um, am, am I am I crapping? Am I crapping? Yeah, you 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 fucked up for a little bit. You're yeah. good. So you're it's using a hotspot right now. Cause you're internet shit, and there's no no videos yeah. this week. Yeah, pretty much. Just found out, guys. Racism is here, and he wants to move in. And I'm like, look, nigga, <laughs> this is why I keep you. This is why I keep you in the peripherals. I don't actually look you in the eyes, bro. So don't don't get disrespectful. All right, if I have to look you in the eyes, I'm squaring up. All right. So, Square up. No. Just throw the chair up. In New York, I'm in yep. the rock. Hit the club. Tear it up, you know? Yep. And uh, that's me and what my mom is going to do. We're going to tackle racism. So You're gonna, um, uh, You and your mother are going to fight racism. Yep, by moving. Um, <laughs> which, um, that's at least one, I could say a quarter of it. So maybe, I don't know. I just we have to we got to play by play, but maybe in the upcoming weeks we might I might be not be here for an episode. Who knows? Um, just letting you guys know. So yeah, this won't be for long. You won't have to hear my uh, transformer voice, you know, activated randomly throughout the episode. So Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bumblebee. It's I, not. It's actually not as Bumblebee as you think. Yeah, it's not that bad. But I mean, we've heard 
Yeah. Fucking what is it, Prime Skype, nigga? Come on now. Oh my god, I remember Josh <laughs> in the Skype days. Yeah, I, it wasn't even just Josh, bro. That was everybody. That was as everybody. soon as you went out, he was like, oh, bu uh, Bumblebee! <laughs> just on your you, ass. You started flaming a nigga I for that shit. That. Uh -huh, Anytime like, somebody uh -huh. in there started dying, Hey, Bumblebee, look at that! Bumblebee! <laughs> Uh -oh, nigga, you uh -oh. need to change Watch the station. Uh-huh, cause that shit ain't working. Nah, uh, damn. Call Prime, bro, cause you uh, need some help. <laughs> fucking... Tell me how. I... Today, it is Saturday. Today, mm -hmm. I, um... Well, scratch that. Earlier, earlier, like, maybe the beginning of June. My um mom was like, "Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to help me like move some stuff. Like you and your brother are gonna have to help me uh move some stuff through the fucking like the warehouse at where she works or whatever, right?" Mm -hmm. And uh, so I I was under the impression that it was Sunday, right? I was under the impression that it was a, it was tomorrow. Um, and mm. my insomnia have been been hitting different recently, right? Mm. And so uh I had no types of sleep last night. And uh and like late like late Friday night, late Friday night, my mom was like like maybe like eleven or twelve. My mom was like, Yeah, you you ready for tomorrow, right? Like we're going in at ten tomorrow and I said, Huh? <laughs> I said <laughs> That nigga was not I said I said I haven't slept in two days and I'm not tired. Ooh, and then oh, I, and then no. I, like as the night progressed, I was like, I was like, okay, uh, well, this is not good. I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh stuff after not sleeping tomorrow, and then yeah. um, and then like eight o'clock rolls around, right? Uh huh. Uh, and I'm starting to feel tired. Eight in the morning, I'm starting to feel tired. I'm like, fuck, I got two hours, so you know, I can take it like a two hour nap, and then I start mm -hmm. laying down. And then I ain't fucking tired no more. Whoa. That's how it always is, bro. That's how it always is. And then I is. ain't fucking tired no more. Because racism strikes again. And then, so wow. I was sitting there, I was like, alright, I'm gonna force myself to sleep, you know, I'm a, so I'm sitting there 30 minutes, it's just like 8.45 at this point, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm kinda getting tired again. I start laying down. I start laying down, my eyes are closed. I start thinking for a little bit, but you know, that, that just happens. That's something that's gonna happen, right? I start thinking for a little bit, maybe like 5-10 mm -hmm. minutes. I was like, okay, that's fine, I can still get an hour of sleep. Mm. And then I hear something. My die, my eyes dart open. Like you remember Squidward, when his <laughs> it, oh, no. when that oh, guy no. his eyes closed and just. Uh, <laughs> you know, how, you know how Luffy be looking when he uses Conqueror's hockey. He just like his eyes yeah. open the fuck up like that. Oh no! Fucking and, and I, I looked at the time. It was nine. Uh, I heard Ooh. somebody's. I heard somebody in the house's alarm going off. Oh and no! And I said, "Son of a bitch!" So Damn. I got no type of sleep. We had to go in today. And I went in, and um, we were just moving around a lot of shit. It was just us three, by the way. It was my mom, my brother, and I. And so it was mm. just it was just us three because uh, you send one person to move important technical hardware throughout a warehouse because that's what companies do now i suppose and um mm. so we're sitting there and uh i i saw some weird shit there man because it's like a tech company right mm -hmm. so like there's just like archaic pieces of technology there that i'm just like how the fuck did this even exist nigga saw oh, dialogue damn. in that bitch Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nigga saw the whole oh, no. computers. That I the saw fucking, the the Nazis was I using. I saw the fucking. I saw fucking a fucking. Crank that bitch. I saw. A, <laughs> I saw a brick phone, bro. Oh, oh I saw a brick no. phone. I said, "That is what a the murder hell? weapon, bro. <laughs> a murder weapon." Oh, they had. Get this. Get this. They had not TVs, CRT monitors. Huh. <laughs> yeah yeah so they got like these extendable necks on the back right and they uh -huh. weigh they weigh a shit ton more than the average monitor oh, but they're that man small. Saw floppy Heck discs no. the legit ones not the small <laughs> discs <laughs> For real? huge ass bitches Bro, these these niggas had home phones 
Oh wow! They had I home phones. Have not heard that word in a while. Dude, okay, <laughs> let, let, let me let me talk about this real quick. Have it. No offense. Let me interject. Why are job applications still being like, "What's your home phone?" Nigga, like what? Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, who has that? Who has that? Who has a home phone, bro? Who's still running on dial-up, bro? Like, who's still leaving messages and you gotta be beep, and then you got the answer. Who got the answer machine, nigga? But exactly. Who's who really stuck here with an answer machine? But I, I was gonna say, um, uh, I was gonna say, uh, the the most crazy part was. It, it takes like an hour to it. It takes like an hour to get to where she works because um, I won't say where we live currently, but I'll say the name of the town, right? Like I don't think it matters. She works in Macon, right? Mm. And so, you know, yeah. Macon's not like the biggest city, right? Mm. Yeah, There's not too much traffic. It's you know, it's it's a Saturday morning. We're chilling, so we get mm. done. We go there. And we go there. We get in the place at like eleven, right? We leave around. 1230. Okay. So about an mm-hmm. hour, hour and a half of us moving shit around and stuff. And then we had to drive back. Hmm. Now remind you, it is one it is one PM on a Saturday. Uh-huh. I want you to think about this. One PM on a Saturday. We're in Macon. And there's a fucking mm. traffic jam. Oh, damn. I don't even know how that happens. That how does that even kind. happen? It ain't Saturday night. It ain't Friday morning. It ain't Friday night. <laughs> it ain't Sunday morning. It is sat- Saturday evening. It is the mid. It is noon. Uh-oh. In a town that's not even that big. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn. We're sitting, we're sitting in traffic for an hour, hour and a half. That bad? I don't think yes. I ever remembered B- Macon being that bad when it comes to traffic. Because <laughs> it's not. I don't That's know. Kind of That's strange. <laughs> That's the look, thing. I don't usually. Uh, look, I, I don't. I don't go outside. Like travel yeah. between yeah. towns a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But when I did, I'd say probably the worst day to do anything where you gotta be on the interstate is a fucking Saturday. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Like period. But my whole thing is, what the fuck I look like as doing road work on a Saturday Saturday noon, not Saturday night, not a weekday, like not like morning or not morning, like noon during a weekday where everybody's gonna be at work and shit. I do yeah, it during a Saturday noon. I mean, you gotta think about those well, are contractors, though. Oh, That's I know. Yeah, bro work, I know. Oh, it's like you're a contractor, so it's like you just kind of get paid to finish yeah. the damn job. You so you probably it. be like, "Nigga, look, like, I'm just trying to finish this whole period." So like, fuck it, we gotta saying, go out on Saturday. Like, like, fuck it. Like, it might be because of the so lunch uh, rush, absurd. maybe. That is so absurd. If there's a lunch rush on Saturday, I don't want to go outside anymore. Yeah, no, at that point, I'm... Well, no, it's, like, near during, like, 12 p.m. to, you know, 2. You know how they have, like, dinner rush, no, I know, lunch rush, like, and all that shit. Is that shit on Saturday, too? Because if that shit's on Saturday, dude, that's... Crazy. But it is... I wouldn't... It is still abnormal, because it's, like, nigga, that's... <laughs> like, an hour you're sitting there waiting, and then on top of it, only really on a Saturday, this is just boom. I don't know. No, I feel that. I don't know. That's kind of strange. Yeah, no, I thought that. Nigga, that's crazy. worse than Seattle's and Houston's. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, maybe not Seattle's. <laughs> maybe not Seattle's. I, don't, I don't know about either of them. We're talking about look, like we're talking about Houston know. is like it's it's an hour and a half. Yeah, but bro, like metro, metropolitan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like you. Them niggas don't get out of traffic. Yeah. You go to work. You get off work. The traffic is the same. Hell no. <laughs> you tell me I clocked into traffic, I clock out, and the same niggas is still in line. Like, bro, what are y'all doing all day? Oh, okay. I got a fucking. I got. I got somebody actually want to freaking ask real quick. Yo, mm. do y'all niggas not fuck with Saturday either now? I fuck with Saturday. <laughs> uh, 
What you mean by don't fuck with Saturday? Oh, it's like not the day itself that sucks. I don't like I don't like going out on a Saturday. I think yeah, going out on a Saturday is overrated as fuck. Is it because there's like you know everybody be going Dude, out? It's everybody it like... and they mother for no reason. For yeah, no, yeah, no I, I don't like that either. They're like, bro, okay. <laughs> Are niggas really buying anything? Really? <laughs> really like, you got your okay, me last, like, like two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> like, niggas uh, act like they got money every weekend. <laughs> Let's go to the mall. Nah, bro, it ain't even just the mall. Like, it's just, like, in general, like, okay, you go out on a Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. I'll say this. Y'all niggas ever went out on a Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. What the fuck? I'm never going out on a Saturday ever again. Bruh. Ever again. Bruh. Every nigga hates Rex. Monday. Dude, Rex. take Mondays off. This is this is the this is the tech. Take weekdays off. Fuck weekends. Weekends are lame. All right. You wanna know why? Because everyone's yeah. fucking off on the weekend. Because they think that that shit is the move. It's not. Take Mondays off. I can guarantee yeah, really. you. You want to get some shopping done, nigga? No one will ever be <laughs> on the road. Niggas won't be in the store. Nothing. You wanna you wanna fucking enjoy some shopping, nigga? Take a Monday off. Cause every nigga who got a nine to five is That's... working. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, nah, bruh. Saturdays are overrated. My me and my sister went up to <laughs> another tech um, fucking river crossing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. On a Monday. Yeah. Dude, when I say we had enough time to like straight up browse, like eat food. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I was straight coasting. It was so leisure that I was like, man, I'm not going to hold you. I need all my days to be looking like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I don't like, I don't like, it's not that I don't like schedules. Did I don't you like do having it, Did you do it like, in the morning? Uh, I think we went up there at like, it definitely wasn't like too late in the afternoon. It wasn't even like one, I don't think. I think we went up in there like maybe maybe noon maybe 11 mm. yeah because the mornings are also like for whatever reason no, no if you go to walmart them. or like 9 a.m niggas ain't there bro like i'm like oh thank god because the walmart i go always the checkout is always packed but when i is go in the morning come, bro? Like, nah. are we just dodging folks bro yeah we, like Mike, i used cause... to okay because i used to like night shopping like going, I used to go to Kroger at night, like all the time, right? Because mm. that shit was just OD. I don't know why. Yeah. And then, like, you know that song where it's like the freeze come out at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The freeze. Come. Yep. Oh, I thought yep. this shit was fake. Yep. Nah, G. Nope. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. I mean, all the way fucked up. Never again. Because I swear, after it was like after like two months or something of just like going consistently at night to the store, all of a sudden. You got like every nigga in their mom midnight. I'm like, bro, what the yeah. fuck are y'all uh -huh. doing here? I'm like, bro, it's midnight. I'm here because I'm an introvert shut in. I don't want to see y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I don't know why, but why most of the here? time when I go like, to Walmart, Walmart at 9 p.m., it's just like a bunch of teenagers and shit. I'm like, bro, like, they just acting like goofing around and shit. And I'm like, bro, why? Why? No, it ain't even just why. My thing is like, all right, what's the fascination? I just want to know that. I just yeah. want to know the fascination. What is so fun about just running around Walmart? Like, yeah, we, dude, I can tell you right now, we sound fucking old. We do. Yeah, I know we, we do. do, but I don't give a shit. I want to know because I, dude, I got friends that'll just be like, bro, I'm trying to fuck around at Walmart, and I'm like, nigga, what? Why? <laughs> Why? Like, I'm just like, what are we getting? Are we buying shit? Are we getting snacks? Nigga, am I yeah. finna eat? Like, what are we what's doing? the deal? And then they just be like, nah, bro, like, we just finna fuck around in Walmart. And I'm like, fuck around in Walmart. That's in Walmart. So stupid, and I used to be like, man. dude, it has to be because the town has nothing else going on. It has to. Like, I like this town. It's because this bitch ain't got nothing else. To be fair, like, it doesn't. There's no. Uh, it actually does now. Yeah. Not Which is know, some stuff that I actually okay. Oh wait, I actually kind of want to uh see if you'd be willing to go, nigga. You want to go? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> I was uh, like, I was like, I'll ask, and then I was like, oh shit, I forgot. I don't know if you'd be down, but I feel like you would also kind of think it's like kind of sick. Huh? 
You ever been to <laughs> a, you know what an escape room is? Yes. Oh, bro. Bro, I, I want to do a fucking escape room because I swear, if you win, right, you get on like this, like, like I was smart enough type of wall, and I'm like, I refuse to be not smart enough after all the covert games I've played. <laughs> I'll be damned if a nigga's like the way out was behind this fucking bookshelf. Only thing you had to do was take the book off. Like, I'll be damned oh, if yeah, someone man. nah. Like, and that's the thing. I'm looking for all that shit. I, I feel like niggas just go in yeah. there and they're like, "All right, it's probably gonna be some button on the table." I'm like, "Look at that bookshelf. Look at everything." And all them escape rooms. I don't know. I just kind of want to try one. I would maybe want to try one, and I feel like I'd be good at it, maybe. But I. I don't think I could do one, if that makes sense. In the uh, sense of, like... That's... Yeah, just go ahead. Because uh, at that point, it's like... Uh, y'all are making me think too much, bro. That's, and I'm, yeah, like, stuck in here? Was... Uh-uh. Yep, that's where I was like, I don't know if you'd Man. be down for that, because anxiety. I'd be fine. I mean, you're not stuck in it. You just have to literally be like, okay, like, no, like, I give up. Yeah. Like, Yo, like, right now. Which, like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I did but, one like... with, uh... Oh, my you did one? Kat and... Yeah, uh, with her family. Shout out to her. And it was actually, it wasn't like what I thought it was going to be, where it's just like you literally have nothing. And like, like they made it there's more. Like, the one I went like to was shit. a little bit more. Oh, what'd you say? They give like clues and shit, right? Like they give you like. Yeah, yeah, they, they, give, they yeah, give clues. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think, I don't know what type of, if there's different types of uh, escape rooms, but the one we went to, it was a little bit more like, okay, you had clues. They, there was like some dude on, on like the TV, like, okay, you got this amount of time. And then they give you like certain like hints sometimes and stuff like that. Um, and so you would have to like read these clues on like uh, a card or whatever. And kind of like, some of them are like more like puzzling games. Like I am this 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 what am i and and then a, somehow that unlocks the key to open this and then do this so um yeah some of it's like challenging some of it's like okay fun maybe more but i could definitely see the stress part i see i do feel like i'd be good at it though because like i'm good at like um, puzzles and stuff puzzles and like pattern games and shit oh hell yeah like, bro oh hell yeah like, bro um I actually had a teacher that uh, got pissed off at me for it. Because she would try to set up, like, these super elaborate, like, pattern puzzles for us. Uh, and, uh, every morning in class. It was, it was my graphics teacher. And, mm -hmm. uh, every, she'd tell everybody to start working. And, like, you know, like, she would have it, like, written on the, the board, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. every day I would walk in and I would look at it. And people, I'd always gotten to class, like, that's, that's just how I was. Um, and also because the teacher before that class was usually a help, but mm. I would usually get in that class late, and so I'd get in there, and people are already, like, writing down answers and stuff, only, like, a minute or two late, but people are already, like, writing down on paper and stuff, and, like, almost every time, not every time, but almost every time I would walk in, I'd look at it on the board, I'd think for a second, and then I would just go up to the board and answer it, I would, like, write the, re like, fill in the rest with the marker on the board, and she used to get super <laughs> mad at it. Hey, she shouldn't do that, because it's like, um, bro, like, the nigga's smart. <laughs> but, That's another thing about teachers that kind of weird, though. But yeah, mm, go ahead. Uh, well, I was just going to say, so, like, if it's stuff like that, like patterns and puzzles and stuff, then I feel like I, I'd maybe be good at one. Oh, yeah, bro, you would have actually, I was dumb as, bro, I was dumb, bro. I was I was in there. I was like, all right, I think I know what I'm doing, and then I don't know where my cousin Kat, she's like, oh, it's this part next, and I'm like, <sighs> God dang, I hate this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Kat, if you watch him, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> he's just sitting there, he's like, what the fuck, she gotta be smarter than me, bro. Yeah, like, why she gotta be smart, bro? <laughs> but nah, Ignoring, yeah. Ignoring, like, the obvious age gap that would warrant her being smarter than you. <laughs> Bruh, man, she, she a neuro neurosurgeon, like, aspiring one, so I'm <laughs> yeah, like, look. okay. Yeah. I, I, I'll give it. I, I always use that as an excuse. Like you would, you a neurosurgeon. Like, all right, okay, I'm not stupid. Uh, <laughs> man, really said, I'll give you that, bro. You a neurosurgeon? <laughs> he said. He, he basically said, yeah, all right, you win this one, fucking nerd. Oh, shit. I, I actually clipped that and said it to her, but nah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shout out to her. And uh, you know, real talk, I honestly think you would figure it out, Nick. Like, just maybe, maybe. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'd maybe yeah, try one. I'd maybe try one. I don't know. 
So okay. what were you going to say, PJ? You had a... I was just talking about, like, teachers who'd be, like, getting mad at students for shit that don't make no sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Especially, like, oh, is this kid showing that he has some sort of... Now, like, you know, obviously, there's, like, the nigga who's just, like, being a dick to the teacher. That was probably yeah. me most of the time. Not really. <laughs> I wasn't a dick. I'm just very, 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 very sarcastic. Yeah, I used to be a, I used to be friends with a lot of the kids that were, like, the, the dick to the teacher kids. Mm, I wasn't yeah. ever I like a straight up dick to the teacher. Like I would never nah, really just be like straight I never up was either. like disrespectful. I would actually be the nigga who's pissed at you for being just straight up disrespectful. Because I'm like, bro. Yeah. Especially if it's a cool nigga, like fucking yeah. weed jock. Nah, bro, you got me all the way fucked up. We could take this bitch outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could really take it outside. That nigga dude. was about to take it outside with half his class every time, bro. Dude, I swear. And he always got the worst niggas. Like, I'm like, bro, why we got a bunch of... He... I, I, of I these swear niggas. he was Nathan <laughs> Drake, bro. I swear he's oh, Nathan nah, Drake. Nah, he was, he's, he's definitely Nathan Drake. He's Nathan Drake. We had this... We had this, uh, we had this biology teacher in, like, in like ninth, 10th grade named uh, Mr. Weezjack. And he looked... And acted like just Nathan like Nathan Drake. Only thing insane. about him is that the nigga had <laughs> Xbox. I was so confused. Yeah, he I was, was like, how do, you have an Xbox? <laughs> how do you have an Xbox? How do you have an Xbox? Like, dude, you have a game. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, I play bro, your I've game. I've seen you before. To that nigga. I've seen you before. I've seen you, bro. Like, just being mad out of nowhere at him. Like, bro, why you got an Xbox? And he's like, just he's just like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Xbox? <laughs> I'm like, like bro, look, we still got <laughs> for real, Drake. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> come on now. Drake. <laughs> come on. Bro, niggas are gonna be confused as hell. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> I'm con- you know what uh, I'm convinced. Yeah. If Mr. Rizak could sing, he's white Drake. No, I don't know. No. I feel like he's just Justin Timberlake. That's possible. That's possible. That's possible. Would you rather have white Drake or black Justin Timberlake? That's a good point. You raise a solid point. Yeah, a Lee. Solid point. That's funny. Yeah, Mr. Weezer. <laughs> I'll take definitely, I'll take Black Justin Timberlake. Yeah, no definitely, definitely. Definitely <laughs> no offense to Drake, but definitely uh, invited for sure. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Definitely invited. Okay. I remember when I was selling Kool Aid, right? Yeah. Wait, there's a nigga named Kool Aid? No, no, no. Nigga. No, no. You you misunderstand. <laughs> I was okay, selling I don't know. Kool-Aid. Oh, I thought you <laughs> he said was selling Kool-Aid. I was telling Kool-Aid. I was he like, was, no, I wish. I wish there was a nigga hood? named Kool-Aid. Yo, what's up, Kool-Aid? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> that man is a danger to society. That man is a danger to society. Because now I just wanna I just wanna know what his spirit. real name is. If your nickname is Kool-Aid, yeah. what is your real name, bro? What do you bro, go? That is, that is a nigga from the government, bro. The government? Like, I don't know. That is a nigga from that the nigga gutter. Is like in... Like, nah, bro, he's from the trenches, <laughs> for real. Nigga, I don't know what that nigga on, man. <laughs> but nah, I remember I was selling Kool-Aid, right? And you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to sell shit in school. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. But that nigga saw me, and I was like, you want one? And he was like, sure, I won't say anything. Like my <laughs> nigga, <laughs> and then he bought one. I was like, also my nigga, helping the helping black business, helping black business, bro. helping black business early on. We helping love to see business. it. Yeah, they ask you to li- they ask you to list one of your biggest uh, inspirations as an artist, and instead of saying like another rapper, another singer, you just go, I think Mr. Weez Jack. You're Dang. a pretty big inspiration. <laughs> they go, I just want to thank I just want to thank Mr. Weez Junk, bro, helping black business start off, bro. If you there, <laughs> you know who you are. For real, no, that wow, dude was goaded, bro. Goaded for real, for real. Wow. Okay. Um, topics. You, yeah. We getting into it or yeah, not? Nah? Sure, let's go. Let's go. We're thirty minutes deep, bro. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, you want me to start off, or you, you always start topics? off? So we might as well. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> if you say so, um, I got. He's two... gonna pull up. I got four words for y'all, and I'm gonna go no, no. Okay, crap. so obviously I got a wild one. I mean, no. look, 
Look, <laughs> it is what it is, bro. It's it is what it is. Now. I feel like this is just your role now. Like, this is just tradition. All right. It's just a thought. This one, you can hate me for it, but it's it's just a thought. Um, <laughs> it's it's not as wild as the last one, uh, but it's still thought. And then the, the second one is obviously something more... I mean, one serious, but some recent news and shit. So, yeah, yeah. anyway. <clears throat> um, so, the question of the day is... Oh, no. Let's say, uh, you know... No. Another news. Like, okay, so let's say, okay, me and you, PJ, if we were living in the same vicinity and we were like, yo, like, when I go to the, the mall, you want, you know, let's get some shit, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, bet. So, you know, we pull up to the mall and we're just walking. We walk in and we're like, oh, yeah, like, Victoria's Secret. Oh, cool. Nope, and then I don't like you look through the window pane, look uh-huh, through right. the window pane. Okay. You see a mannequin, right? One mannequin's looking, you know. Just the normal mannequin, right? Like, you don't pay uh-huh. no attention. Yeah. And then you look through all of them, and you're passing by until you see the last mannequin. And that mannequin has D-cups. <laughs> so D-cup mannequins. <laughs> yeah, just like, just out of nowhere. You just look at the normal mannequins. I don't know where this mannequin is naked, and it's just, just got D-cups. Like, just... Just a whole so, sack, bro. Like, what mannequin. are you doing? So this just <laughs> yeah. Josh might got a thing for mannequins. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. This, this shit might actually be clear. Wait, wait. I gotta defend myself. All right. Look. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I was listening to a podcast, and then okay. it just they were talking about like I don't know their mannequins and stuff. And then they were bringing, you know, breasts. But they weren't okay. relating it to, like, mannequins having breasts. But then it just kind of correlated me, like, I wonder if I actually saw, like, a mannequin with, like, D-cups. Like, what would I do in that situation? You know? <laughs> why, why are you paying so much attention to a mannequin? <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I... Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Well, actually, yeah, you go ahead, and then I'll, I'll join later. Okay, uh, I, I was just going to say, like, it's just weird. Like, think about it. A mannequin with D-cups out of nowhere. All the mannequins are normal. Why in the world is this one mannequin just filled <laughs> with milk gallons? Hello. Uh, ladies, we're not saying that D-cups aren't normal. This nigga just can't talk. <laughs> this nigga just cannot speak. Okay. He cannot speak. I like all right, Lord go Josh, ahead, PJ. Like... Well, we like all sizes, ladies. I'm just saying. <laughs> Before we get some fucking cancel culture in this bitch. <laughs> Niggas try and roll up on us for nothing. Uh, I mean, no, I, I actually do understand what you're talking about. Because it's like, okay, could you imagine? All right, I'll say this. Change the store. Okay. Yeah. Change the store. Nigga, let's say I roll up to American Eagle, right? Just and I'm like, all right, bet. Because American Eagle story. has some, like, good-ass hoodies, right? Yeah, it has, has, and it's also has decent clothes. Stories. Exactly. Not just for males, not just for females. For exactly. Both. Okay. Boom. D-cup mannequin <laughs> in the window. No, no clothes, no clothes on, on display. <laughs> now that, no clothes on. That's like, a yo, lot funnier. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit surprised. Because I'm going to be like, all right, so like. Why? American Eagle, what's the, what's, what you trying to do? What's the market, <laughs> nigga? Like, are you, are we who are you appealing to? Is this what it's at now? Are, like, Is this what you're selling now? Is this what you're selling now, bro? American bro. Eagle, Old Navy. Switch the store, Old Navy. Boom, D cup mannequin. Mm. 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 Nah, Big you know sporting what? Goods. Big sporting goods, nigga. Yes. Nah, here, here's, here's, here's how you make it real, all right? Okay. Big sporting, nah, finish line. Okay, Ooh. finish line. Naked oh, mannequin no. with some Yeezys on. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you Bro. doing? It's like, okay, so are you okay, trying to model okay. the shoes, so or is this, Hold is there some that kind of hidden me. agenda? And that, and that also reminds me of <laughs> Like, what's the deal? That also if it's Victoria's Secret, it's to be expected, because that's a women's store, so I'm like, yeah, you gotta, gotta you be gotta, showing stuff that supports you gotta be doing something, shit, exactly. Like, come on but now. if it's like, Dick Sporting Goods, D cu- like, D-cup mannequin in the window, naked as hell, but she got on, she got on fucking... The new Adidas. Only thing she's wearing is shoes. This nigga. bitch got on Air Maxes. She 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 got Air Maxes <laughs> on. What are you doing? But that reminds me of a conversation uh, I was having with PJ, right? 
and it was, uh, mm. I, I think we, I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast. I don't remember if this was a podcast conversation or if this was a me and him play a Destiny board conversation. But, uh, mm. uh, I, <laughs> I remember me and him having like a, like, we're just laughing our asses off because I was like, man, you really know you've made it if you, if you're fucking a bitch in some J's. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're... Putting in, that means you're putting in work with, you're putting in work while wearing Jordan's namesake, bro. You're not worried about the creases at all. Bro. You're not worried about shit. <laughs> that, that, bro, mm-hmm. you're a different breed. The level of care saying... in your head is gone. Was... Dang. <laughs> but here's the thing, here's the thing, right? The, the concept of that means you have to take everything off and then put the J's on, and that's so fucking funny to me. That is so fucking funny to me. It could also just be a straight up, like, dirty ass motherfucker and just <laughs> straight up take everything off except for the shoes. So you just struggle and take you your take pants off. You take the pants off over the <laughs> you're shoes. Just, you're just struggling to take your pants off. <laughs> take your pants off over the shoes, leave the shoes on. But my question and is. And the whole time she's looking at you like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? <laughs> my whole question is you gotta think that's also an achievement on the end of the, of the, of the other person. Right? Because, like, that means that they were good enough to warrant this nigga not caring about the fact that he could fuck up his J's. Mm. I don't know, man. I feel like at that... if Okay, I'll say it. Reverse the roles. Okay. If I'm fucking this chick and she got J's on... Yeah. It's just like, I right, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because to me, the only thing I'm saying is, like, I guess she got somewhere to go out of this. So... <laughs> I mean, keep the steppers on, I guess. You know, I'm not going to get on you or nothing. You got to school some niggas Whatever. You got to, hey, you, you got to go do something out of this? Fine, nigga. Like, you know, that's none of my business. My little cousin was talking shit. I got to school him on the court. Like, all right, girl, <laughs> let, me do, let me do my thing real quick. <laughs> let me, what you, what you rushing for? <laughs> for I don't real, know what if you I can keep this for? in. <laughs> nigga said. Let me do my thing real quick. What you rushing for? You already got the shoes on. I we ain't even got started. Keep this in, bro. <laughs> yeah, she already sweated. Damn. You already uh, got the court. You ain't got on the court yet. You ain't got on the court, yet. <laughs> ain't even got on the court bro. <laughs> bro, it is not game six. It's game one, and we ain't even started. What you freaking out <laughs> for? Bro, she got on the, the steppers already. already. God damn. Yeah. Half court shots and everything. Damn. I'm trying to lay up. You out here just 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 taking it all away from me. Bro. I don't know if, god I, don't know if I can keep this in. Oh my god. This is keep it in. In the words of a wise man, the show ain't supposed to go like this. It's oh always my god. Go like this. <laughs> it ain't always supposed to in the go like nah, this. fuck that. In the words of a wise man, the show must go on any means necessary, motherfucker. Hey, bro, this is a content, so... Let's just do whatever. Hey, no, nah, I got a question while we on this topic, because you already know how... Oh, my fucking God. I'm just... Yeah. I'm, nah, nah, I'm just saying. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So, like, all right, nigga, you at the gym, right? Yeah. Josh, I want to know. Mm. I, I know what's happening. Wait, do you go to the gym, Josh? Uh... Or do you nah, just work out, like, at I, home? I work at home. Oh, okay, y'all niggas are smart. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I am just, I'm not so fortunate to be blessed with a massive brain like you two. <laughs> Bro, any nigga who has ever gone to the gym, and look, I'm not trying to be an asshole when I say this. Mm-mm. Some of y'all females know y'all are fine, all right? Yep. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to lift weights, bruh. You don't got to stand directly in front of me. Because now I got to look at the floor and like, bruh, just yeah. help me, help me help you. Like, I'm not trying to look like a fucking <laughs> creep and you not trying to get some nigga just ogling at you. But it's like, you standing directly in front of me. Then you going to bend over and start doing squats. I'm like, oh, damn, that floor is looking pristine. These niggas is clean. Yeah, this this shit just got waxed. I'm, for real. Yeah. Like, like, where, where, am I supposed to look? where am I supposed to look? Can't look yeah, nowhere. Why are you Damn, looking at is me? That, is that As you big in your big ass over, like, bro, don't. I'll never, I don't ever get like, why you looking at me? It's just like it's the principle, bro. It's the same thing as like, all right, like when I fucking when I worked at Victoria's Secret. What the fuck? 
What the fuck? The only time that yeah, it would ever be like a problem is when like someone is changing and like I'm sorry nigga. I do I do work here. So like I'm gonna have to go to the back at some point. Yeah, like y'all niggas think and then they just be like changing. Oh my god, what are you I'm like, bro, if there was not a reason for me to be here, I can tell you right now I, I am just getting paid. I'm bro. just getting paid for this nigga. Like you don't understand. Bitches, you I just came here to get no <laughs> on the top of the bitches, you illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, bitch, can you read? Exactly. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> bitch, like, can you the read? This is this fitting room. Nah, because to get to the back, I have to pass the fitting room. Oh, no. Exactly. <laughs> so then, like, as soon as my ass walks. They'd be like, oh my god, what is it do being back here? This and I'm dude, like, nigga, I work here. Please stop. This dude PJ is trying I just, his damnedest I just to not be a harem it. pro tag. Oh, dude. That's not a podcast topic. <laughs> That's, That's not, not a podcast, podcast topic. Me, 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 oh, me, me and it's PJ like, got some... We, we not both a have some shit to say topic. on stuff like that, so... That's not a podcast topic. If that shit was a podcast topic, Jesus Christ. You know who was a harem pro tag? <laughs> oh, God. Nick what, didn't want to own it. Uh, that's not what I was gonna say. I uh, know, you know, but you knew it was coming. I, uh, I should have. I should have. You're right. I should have. I was gonna say Eamon, but Eamon also doesn't want to own it. Eamon doesn't. Eamon. I no, nah, actually, Eamon is kind of just like he's an actual harem protagonist. Like that nigga just don't know. Yeah, he just legitimately does not get. He it. doesn't know how to pick up on clues. Like, it'll be like, hot-ass senior chick, mm. you a freshman. <laughs> Trying to chill with you, yo ass is like, I mean, I guess. I'm like, I get! Let me talk to you outside real quick. <laughs> Motherfucker, if you don't take your duck. <laughs> yeah. You got imagine, it? You got imagine it? Well, not it. understanding. Yeah, How stupid you gotta be to not understand context clues, bro. Like, come on. Y'all niggas ain't got it? What's up? Okay, that's sure. tragic. Mm. Oh, he's playing Destiny. Gotcha. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, dude, how, how, st <laughs> how stupid you gotta be to not get context clues, bro? That's just that's just ridiculous. That's just okay. Look, I'll say this. To not. I I don't think that context clues are enough to describe the amount of heavyweight lifting that these females be doing when they tell you that they gave you a quote unquote hint. My dad literally had to be like, "I'm gonna just break it down for you," like. I don't know, man. I can't have a like a woman tell me like that was a hint. I'm never going to get it if a woman tells me. It's got to be a nigga telling you when it's a hint. Because niggas know how to simplify that shit for other niggas. Because niggas are simple. Like, dudes are just dummy mm. simple. That's just, the, that's just the law of the land. <clears throat> but, nah. Mm. When females be like, that's... Other females will see it and be like, bro, you didn't notice that? I'm like, notice what? And they're like, bro, she looked at you and smiled. And it's like, yeah, and we were having a conversation. Like, That's enough. I'm like, okay, so then whenever I do that shit, how come sometimes I'm a creep? And then other times, like, what's the difference, bro? Because it'd be like life or death. One minute you a creep, next minute it's like, oh, you ain't pick up on her, on her hints? That was rude. It's like, what? What? So, so when? <laughs> It's either complex or just like, I mean, it's it's usually simple, but it's like, I feel like you just overcomplicate shit. Yeah. Why? Don't ask. I'm not the nigga with those answers. <laughs> but yeah, decide. I, how did we even get here? You know? We well, he start talking about females. I mean, how do you always manage to do that? It's not. I didn't bring up fucking double <laughs> D mannequins. I know. 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. Don't blame. I get it. I get it. Right. I ain't do shit. Look, bro. It's two things PJ brings to the to the podcast, and that is. <laughs> conversations Seriously? about and deeper meaning <laughs> and then and bitches <laughs> and bitches <laughs>
It really that's that's kind of tragic when you think about it. It's either it's either super like, serious. Like, yo, like, what are you life, uh, so life you altering drink? shit? Life altering shit or oh, bitches? <laughs> Not bitches. Bro, we bitches. talking about we talking about females? Nah, all right. So we talking about the end of the world. Awesome. <laughs> no in between. Nice. Sick. Sick dog. Bruh. <laughs> you know what? Get out of it. I guess. Let it rock. Nah, go ahead. Nah, I just had a joke about females. Like, there just editor. has to be like a. We got an know, editor. <laughs> you know, there just has to be like a YouTube channel how to like deal with. <laughs> deal what with like mean? like what? Yeah, what you mean? <laughs> no, 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 mind. Yeah. Oh, so you already started. <laughs> we so got you're editor, folding. Niggas. So you're folding. <laughs> So you're really? folding. Uh, all right, all right, all right, fine, pussy. fine. I said, oh I God. said there has to be a YouTube channel on how to deal with females. No, I'm saying, Just we were saying elaborate. As a, and like, as a whole, like, or like what? How to deal with yeah, them, which means like, talk to them, or like... Are, yeah, are, like, are, are, are like, we just trying like, to kill niggas now, or...? No, like, you know how, like, you go to, like, on YouTube, like, no, okay, I, I want to learn how to make food or make this recipe. Like, there's a YouTube, like, I was just thinking, like, okay, there has to be, like, a YouTube channel where it's, like, all right, how to deal with women. It's just, like, titled oh, like there that, is. and there's just each oh, video. there definitely is. But there really definitely is, but those motherfuckers are degenerate assholes yeah. if I have ever seen some niggas like uh, that. Oh, uh, okay. Like, people just be looking at me like I'm a creep. I'm like, nah, these niggas are different. These motherfuckers were built for this, I swear. There oh, had to be masculinity they were born, there. They were born for this, bro. Like, I'm like, they were raising that shit. Y'all motherfuckers are different. Bruh. Uh, they'd be like, nah, like, maybe straight, dude. Uh uh. One of the, okay. All right. You know what? You know what? Oh because God. don't even edit this out. I have an oh, idea. My... All right. Episode 20, we're watching one of these videos. Live reaction. Uh, episode 20, we're watching one of these. Dude, it's funny. It's only funny because it's like the niggas who talk, like, I swear they think they're like. These niggas swear up and down their Drake with the advice. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they really do, bro. They're like, so what Bex. you're going to do is you're just going to walk up to her and you're going to grab her ass and say you're mine. And then that's how this works. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who told you? What kind of drunk nigga gave you advice and you took that shit? Like, bro, <laughs> Apex tragic. Alpha J type niggas. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not Apex Alpha. Is it another road session? <laughs> I was editing the episode. We did that shit for like forty-five minutes. <laughs> Dude, he was hey. Hey, remember, bro. We're just it. we're just beta niggas, bro. It's just <laughs> uh, the polygons need to be better because <laughs> we're just beta level niggas. Bro. Every ass needs to have as many polygons as two bees from I'm fucking from near automata. near automata, and that's being generous. If it ain't got. I don't even want to continue on this topic. I, I hate this nigga. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I just... Nah, I can't. Yo, Fucking what kind of like... Alright, alright, hold up. Oh, brother. Would you rather... Oh, brother. Whisper for the rest of your life or shout for the rest of your life? Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I saw this on someone else's podcast. I do not steal topic. I borrow it. <laughs> I. It's the. It's like the. F R D I. I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but it's their podcast. Uh, you should check them out on TikTok. They're pretty shit. That came out completely wrong. Nope. That's it. <laughs> They're pretty cool. They got good shit. They're not shit. They're funny as hell. It's just two dudes talking about like. A bunch of shit that's actually pretty funny. Some stuff they be out of pocket though, so like just just warning. <laughs> they know they're out of pocket too, so I don't think if they were to see this, they'd be mad at all. But no, nah, mm. would you rather whisper for the rest of your life or just shout for the rest of your life? Like anytime you want to, like, like you gotta get uh... up and make a ear type whisper. Like, hey, bro, can you go to the store and give me some? <laughs> 
That's just what you want. annoying. Wait, that what? nigga was hey, just nigga, yelling some, all the time, bro. Can I get some hot Cheetos, bro? What? Yo, can I get some hot Cheetos, bro? <laughs> what? Yo, and <laughs> you just can never, you can never speak up. <laughs> like, customer service is over for you, bro. Customer service is but the baby. Yeah, if you always, but if I'm always shouting, <laughs> hey you! <laughs> always sound like you trying to fight somebody. See me in the street. You laid up so in the wrong me. hood, bro. In the wrong hood, bro. You're gonna turn every street you go to into the hood. God damn! You shout yeah. every day. They ask where the hood at. It's you. You're you just like standing next to someone. I feel like if you were to shout, like for the rest of your life, every sentence is a shout. I would just get accustomed to backing up, like just being like halfway mm. across, whatever. I would just only talk in Denzel Curry lines if I only screamed. Yo. <laughs> I feel like at a certain point you're gonna run out of bars. Not if he keeps going. <laughs> kind of right. Depends how long he raps for. Dude, you're gonna have to go back to like every album. This nigga wants something from the store. He's like, "Fuck, he doesn't have a store bar." <laughs> I need a line. How the fuck am I supposed to? <laughs> That's like some like nah. I gotta become friends with Denzel Curry if I'm doing that. Yeah. Like personally, be like, yo, look, I'm not trying to be rude when I say this. There's only one person that can help me, and it's you. <laughs> I need you to make bars about going to the store. <laughs> I need you to start rapping about going to the store. <laughs> I need you to start mentioning the type of cereals, everything, man. Like. The whole nine yards. I'm sorry, but there's no other way. There's no other way. I want my full lose. Score, Fuck. <laughs> or like you just you'll you will know when you pass away. You will know that you didn't help a man who just simply wanted to go to the store and get free pebbles. Mm. Like nah, free pebbles suck. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of free pebbles. I don't, I don't know, man. It's like. All right, top either. top five cereals. Top five cereals. Top five cereals right now. <laughs> top like, five producers. Right. Pretty pebbles. All right. <laughs> top, uh, five cereals. top five cereals. Top five cereals. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's like I was like top five cereals. Top five producers, and I was like, ooh, Gallon. <laughs> I hate top, to break it. <laughs> I hate to break it. Too. I don't know if you're in top fifty, bro. I don't know if you're in top. Look, man, I respect your grind. I respect the hustle, but gee, I just, I gotta let you know. I just don't oh, see it, bro. I don't know what's <laughs> happening, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. Top five cereals. That's a hard one. Uh, you go first. You go first. What's your, what, what do you think your top five would be? In no particular order, just top five. Uh, honestly, number one is probably like Reese's Puffs. That's classic. That's a classic. If it's not, matter of fact, matter of fact, all right, it's like a tie. Oh, it's right. between like Reese's Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't think oh, you can really classic. ever defeat Cinnamon Toast Crunch as a cereal. I feel like that shit is just, they made that shit with black magic or something because it's undefeated. Like, That's I don't feel like you could it. ever, yeah, I don't feel like you could ever beat it. Uh, huh, okay. So. I'll just put Cinnamon Toast Crunch up top. I'll put Reese's Puffs at like a solid second. Um, <laughs> you see what the stick of Josh just said? What is it? Oh, I'm very fucking <laughs> <auto -locked. laughs> he, he said, for the audio listeners, he says, he says, might have to switch to the phone. All I'm hearing is fucking <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> uh, damn. <laughs> Not the niggas that speak English, fucking native language <laughs> Autobots. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. can hear you. Welcome, welcome to the podcast, Phone Josh. Round of applause. Uh, round of applause. The audio gets fucking worse. Oh nice God. vintage mic. Nah, no, I'm just fuck with you. <laughs> it does kind of sound. It does kind of. Why did you say that? That's all I hear now. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. And today, I ladies and gentlemen, we have 
<laughs> he put a tape machine on it. Nigga took it to FL and fucking took the creative <laughs> mixing on that bitch. <laughs> This hey, yo, this 60s. is just my FX paint, uh, uh, plug-in chain, you know what I'm saying? My like, FX just paint. leave me alone, bro. <laughs> like, look, this is a free right. state. Alright, so, continue with your top five cereals, PJ. Okay, so, what was it? Cinnamon Toast Crunch, um... Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Mmm. <clears throat> Crunch Berries, Captain Crunch. Okay. It's probably, like, a close third. Okay, I agree, but... Wait, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries or no, Oops Crunch All Berries? No, Crunch Berries. Uh, I've never had Oops All Berries. Well, because I was going to say, how the fuck is this still a mistake after 20 years? <laughs> <laughs> how is it still Oops All Berries? Nick says it should just be All Berries. Deal with it, nigga. <laughs> after 20 years. Yeah, I think it's- after 20 years, y'all motherfuckers still having mistakes. Wait, y'all had this shit since still like pouring the 50s? in berries, huh? Y'all had this shit since All like right. the 50s? How the fuck is still a, how, how the fuck is still a oops? <laughs> oops. <laughs> so, oops. That's like, oh, bro, that's like whenever a nigga, when they be driving and they just run over like some fucking animal and they go, oh, oops. I'm like, oops. Oops. Listen to me, Captain. Oh, Listen, nigga to me. Is dead. Listen to me, Captain. I know for a fact it ain't no fucking oops. Damn, not Oops, I almost kicked you in the fucking jaw. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Come on, man. That was kind of... All right, all right, continue, 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 PJ. So the, the Captain uh, Crunch with the Crunch Berries. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. That I would get a regular Captain a seat, but I feel like that nigga's just going to kill me. Yeah, I mean, the Crunch Berries are like the break in the cereal, because the other parts of the cereal still try to kill you. Oh, yeah. The Crunch Berries are just like the... That's like, that's like when you got a cut in your mouth. And you like you like crunch berries are the shaving cream of shaving. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, like yeah, Captain Crunch is just straight up razor blades. <laughs> like yeah, Captain it, Crunch it, is when you no gotta cut in your mouth, and then the berries are like when you're like chewing ice so that it hurts less. <laughs> Captain Crunch is the nigga in like science class. Who has hand sanitizer and puts it directly on your cut like a dickhead? <laughs> like, oh, I hate that nigga. I hate Everybody that hates that nigga. Because like the first thing he doing is just Bro, does it hurt? It's about to hurt uh, it's about to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me when I put my fist in your Ooh! Yeah. Dumb ass <laughs> like Why is there always that nigga who just be out here doing the dumbest there's shit? There's always a few of those that niggas, right? Like there's always a few of those. <laughs> Yeah, well, fuck those niggas. Like, yeah. well, it depends on what genre of that nigga they are, you know? Like, it's <laughs> never the good that nigga, because if it was the good that nigga, I wouldn't be having a problem with you. No, 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 I, exactly. for sure. I mean, in that regard, yeah, that's the that's the bad that nigga. But, like, there are different genres of people that I classify as that nigga. Like, like everybody had the, uh, the, the, ch- that nigga that was like the, he tries everything, you know? Like, the guy that just does yeah. a whole bunch of different shit. It's like, oh, yeah, that nigga. You know? Yeah, yeah. Everybody had the, that nigga that was like... I'm gonna just say this. Y'all niggas remember Sonic? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you the just hedgehog, swore right? this motherfucker was, bro. You just swore. <laughs> the hedgehog, right? I'm, not trying to, I like, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna just leave it at you that. You know what? If yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's ever trying, right? <laughs> If you know, you know. Okay, and th- and then there's also like the really bad that nigga. It's like y'all remember Johnny? That wasn't that oh, nigga. No. That was this nigga. <laughs> no, that was this that, that nigga. That was no, that was this. They got the nigga. same power level. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the same power level. See, at least, nah, bro. I don't know. Sonic was at least respectable. I yeah. didn't have no, I didn't have no problems with Sonic. It was just, it was just fucking Sonic, man. Like, you know, I don't remember that nigga, bro. I was just a weirdo, bro. Like, bro. I like how I said that shit. He goes, "You mean the Hedgehog, right?" I said, "You the swore." <laughs> you the swore this nigga was, bro. Uh, but at least he was respectable. I don't know, Johnny. 
for for reference, uh, for reference, this is the, the only Lord. time that Josh has ever really slipped up. <laughs> yeah, this is the only time Josh in his in his like twenty his years intuition. Living, yeah, his twenty years living. His hey, intuition. Is, his damn near twenty one. Damn near twenty one years of living. Did he get caught like oh. And that was this one. Oh, he, he was nice to me, so... I, no, he, I was, about y'all. he was nice at first, and then it was like, bro, why you just... Bro, like... What's the deal? Yeah. yeah. And we, he's a kid we used to play Destiny with, for those that don't know. Oh, that also man. went yeah. to the same school as us. Let me tell you right now, I didn't fucking enjoy it. No, oh, yeah. my God. I ain't even gonna sugarcoat it. I don't give a damn. Mm. He was the... He was definitely the who invited this nigga. Nah, he was definitely the god damn it we need a six and I hate the fact that it's you. <laughs> I'd rather have a who invited this nigga because at least then it's like I ain't gotta say it was me. But he was like the he was like the damn. We this how nigga. much he was the he was the yo do you think we could five man it? <laughs> <laughs> he was the you at Oryx <laughs> Final battle. Do you think we could five minute? Because I don't think I could take this nigga for another ten minutes. <laughs> the, yeah, that was oh a straight yeah. up this nigga ass nigga. Like, nah. <clears throat> All right. So, what are your other two cereals? I like how we just never finish that. Um. <laughs> first of all, I feel like Rice Krispies is probably the worst cereal to ever grace the planet this earth. Like, what the fuck even are they, bro? What the fuck <laughs> even is that? No, it's like. What is your? You have like no consistency at all. Facts. Like facts. You have no body. It's like, it's like, bro. Are you eat? It's like eating air, like rice, and it's like oh. eating. Air. It's like you got air for five seconds. Oh, and I I forgot to tell you that this air also turns to mush after five seconds. So if you didn't eat it in five seconds, it is now mush. Certified bro, mush. It's like, it's like prop food, bro. Like it just looks all good. <laughs> It's popping. It's like, okay, that's cute. And then when you eat, bite into it, it's like, bro, this thing is soulless. Like, <laughs> this thing ain't even here, bro. Like, dog, I sugar can't even help it, bro. <laughs> like, I don't even know. It. Don't Dude, save her. Sugar, if don't save her. Sugar, she don't want to be saved. You, like, if you're putting sugar into <laughs> any cereal, I feel like at that point you need to have a better question as to why am I putting sugar in my cereal. Yeah, exactly. You gotta run the risk of putting sugar in it, bro. I I'll never understand niggas who uh throw sugar on frosted flakes. Oh, what you want? Diabetes? Is insane, is insane to me. Bro, that shit is want, insane are... to me. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's that. Um. One okay, so probably. Man, <clears throat> fuck it. All right, so probably honey nut Cheerios. Oh, the classic. Okay. I think honey nut Cheerios classic. are fucking just oh classic. Geez, hell. Classic. Oh, and then gross. five, probably like it's a tie between like so it's like a big three, <laughs> and I can just never place these three. Okay. Mm. Frosted flakes, yep. Fruit loops, okay. And apple jacks, of course. Like I feel like that's like the royal flush of cereal. <laughs> it's like you oh can't do, God. you can't go anywhere. It's just like either you like them or you're a, or you're probably enemy of the state. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. <laughs> Any nigga who's like, bro, Frosted Flakes are whack. I'm like, you probably like pops, don't you? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus, pops. You probably mean pops, huh? Like that. Like that's that. the. That's the. That reminds you saying that reminded me of uh, Josh saying this. These niggas drinking RCs. These niggas drinking RC. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you eat pop cereal with your RC cola, don't you? Take your ass out. Of here, <laughs> oh, <bro. right>. You <laughs> got RC in the bowl, and you pour <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> Pops in, bro. <laughs> My nigga, don't he, he put not only does he put the milk first, he can't even put milk. That man it's pours RC, RC man pours RC in the bowl and then puts pops in that bitch. <laughs> oh, yikes! That's yikers. Like that, nigga, what? That might be, dude. You're you're really just. You're making it real hard to not commit some sort of crime. I know. That nigga missing. We have deep, an editor. Bro. We have an editor. <laughs> we have an editor. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, so when this Josh, shit goes live, oh, it's raps. <laughs> Josh, how about your top five cereals? How about that? Uh, um, 
I'm gonna sound indifferent. <laughs> I already know. Um, so, okay, so my top one, first one. Uh, uh you know what? Hmm. I'm just thinking about it. Okay, so there's a lot of cereals, bro. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, so my first one is a uh, honey bunches of oats. Okay. Uh, almonds, the almond one. I really like it. I really like it. Uh, it's just my go-to one when I'm like, man, I need like, I'm just craving cereal. So that's like <clears throat> my first one. All right, the second one is y'all ain't gonna like me for this one, but fuck it, I, I'm 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 gonna be on that road if you by say myself. It, I, I'm 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 I got mad respect for you. You say what I think you throw up there. Okay. All right. I don't know. <laughs> you just do what but you gotta do. My bro. second one. My second one. Uh, raisin bran. I he fucking knew it. He went from I zero to sixty it. in twenty yeah. years. Almost. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> this <nigga> dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I man said zero to sixty in twenty years. That's so <laughs> fun. <laughs> Nigga, it is a lo- low key. That's low- a fucking low, low blow. Key, right? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, bro. Josh, I got it. All right, TMI, but I just, I got to fucking know. Nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. How are your poops, nigga? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, I'm asking. That's that's what Raisin Brand's for. That's what Raisin Brand is for. Yeah. That's all right, what okay, it's all right. for. Like, that's. <laughs> All right, I'm dying on this hill. All right, I already accepted that. But here's yeah, the thing: goes raisin brand, my nigga. <laughs> like, hey, you gonna have to go with that shit. This, it's 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 funny because there's a popular debate where niggas like raisin brand crunch more than regular raisin brand. I'm not gonna lie. I I didn't know that we had a device a divide <laughs> in this raisin brand community. <laughs> I didn't know that there was something so divisive in the Raisin Brand fandom. It's straight up. Uh, the, the, raisin, <laughs> the Raisin Brandom, if you will. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. That's so, crazy, bro. Have y'all ever had... Well, I'm not even gonna ask you that. Alright, so... I've crunch, had Raisin Brand. I've also had it. You had a, do you have, you have the Crunch version? No, I don't believe so. Pretty much, it's just a sugar ball. I'm not gonna lie; it's literally a sugar ball. Like that's how it tastes to me. It's just just a bunch of sugar in it. It doesn't really taste. Because the thing is, the reason why I like raisin bran is because <laughs> there's only sugar. Look, the only I'm not, sugar. I'm not actually hating. I actually. Yeah, no, I'm, fuck, I'm just saying, why'd you say it like that? Nigga went, the only reason I like raisin bread. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm in my bag, my commercial selling bag. All right, okay, look. okay, okay, okay. Lay it on me. Hold on. Oh. Look, I, I'm in, hold on. I'm in go business ahead, meeting ahead, position. I'm a, I'm a shark right mm-hmm. now. Sell it to me. Mm-hmm. All oh, right, wow. okay. The reason why I love, I mean, I like to raisin bread. I don't love that okay. bitch too much. But I, you know, the reason why I love, I mean, I like <laughs> Raisin Bran <laughs> is because. Exact same mistake twice. <laughs> look, look. Okay. Anyways, please. keep going, keep going. My silly point. Okay. Number one, I don't like high in sugar foods or anything in general. Like, if I'm going to dr- eat something um, that's Josh sugary, eat like very sugar free, yeah, like, I've had, I mean, I've had. Previous health problems, high blood pressure, all this other stuff where I had to really keep it on the low anyway. And plus, I don't know. I don't like snacking in general. So <clears throat> I'm just that one of them type of niggas. So if I am going to snack on something, it has to be something I know, like, okay, low on sodium, no sugar, right? But here's the thing Razor Brand. <laughs> sounds so fucking. Uh, but the raisins are the only thing that's really keeping it, you know. Giving me the sweetness of our favorite American c- cereals that we eat. You know, we like that sweetness with the milk, right? So I personally um, like it when it's just like, okay, raisins are the the sweetness factor. The rest is just whatever. 
So I I like that mixture of like non sweet sweet, and then you know how the whole technique where you dip your you know your let your cereal sit soak after you put the milk in, I'm like two minutes or something like that. You know, half hard, half soggy. You know. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's balanced. It, balanced. it just hits for me. Crunches is just like you want diabetes, sir. Type two. <laughs> Here's for you, like, like, bro, why, why, why do y'all, I don't know, y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all like Raisin Brands and you like Crunch, <clears throat> nigga, like, I swear, a nigga called me, bro, I was arguing on Reddit, I don't do this at all. This, this nigga was, like, was, he is in the Raisin Brand fandom. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the Raisin Wait, Brandom. As a proud nigga of the Brandom, all right, oh, I was wow. scared. A nigga called me, like, he called he me a, a, I'm not even gonna say it. He, <laughs> he, he, he called me a J word. I'm not gonna say it. If you know, you know. Okay. It's it's a little racial. And he's like, okay. bro, you, yeah. how you like Razor Brain without the crunch, bro? That's just like, you know, the uncircumcised, you know. Wow. I'm like, bro, you're <laughs> animal. Right. Just, just fucking out of my head. Anyway. That's what you got. <laughs> Exactly, like, bro. It's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're calling it uncircumcised. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, bro. Okay, look. First and foremost, Reddit niggas are disgusting. All right, Reddit niggas. <laughs> okay, are at least you know. At least you know. Okay, okay at least you're aware. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. These niggas okay. are like 35, still in the basement. Anyway. In the basement. <laughs> so, oh, they on nigga. the roof, nigga. They even got the internet access. <laughs> you just live at the house, nigga. You don't stay inside. <laughs> All right, we tried out some waters. <laughs> right, go, no, keep going. You're going. You're going. <laughs> Everybody knows that running niggas suck. This is the news. Keep going. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. 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 <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna keep this short. All right. Okay. I haven't even finished my list, but all I'm saying is that I personally like balance. I don't like too much sugar. Um, so, balance, so, so that's why I'm like, look, if you haven't tried it yet, just try it, all right, bruh? If you don't like it, okay, cool, whatever. If you don't like no, don't aim your gun at me, okay? All right? I already got to deal with that every day as a black man, okay? <laughs> Racism, bro. And it's not all this type of gun physical i'm talking about mentally bro have you ever stared down at an l and be like you know what that nigga is racist bro i'd be staring at my l's and i'm like bro what huh like hello what did i do to you my my day was going perfect sir why did you come out of nowhere so anyway <laughs> that was... all right <laughs> all right um no, just pretty much that's that's the reason why. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, third one, um, cinnamon toast churros. I'm sorry. Really? It recently came in. No, no, I do, I do. So a lot of people do like that. I am aware of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing. What is this? Oh, okay. it's pretty much cinnamon toast, like you know, the in it's churro form. Cinnamon and, toast crunch. No. But it's more concentrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. I, it's just more. I don't know why, but I don't know. I just feel like that's like a perfect American cereal. I mean, obviously, I don't eat it every, you know, again, I don't I really like high in, you know, su uh, sugary stuff. But, you know, when I did have it and when it did come in stock, I was like, oh, snap. Like, this is actually like what I would think maybe one of the best cereals for any person who likes cereal, you know, but that's just my personal opinion. That comes in third. Um, fourth, um, honestly, I gotta, like, I gotta give it to Cheerios, bro. Um, oh, we love Cheerios. I love Cheerios. Yeah, I, I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta Cheerios, though, right? Honey Nut Cheerios? If yeah, you yeah, yeah. If you, if you oh, say just the say, base I was like, normal you Cheerios, like base you're a Cheerios murderer. Thing? You're a, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you're actually zero. I'm like, I mean, I don't like, think there's anything wrong with the normal ones because, I mean, it's more healthier. No, it um, is, but it's just you can add, nothing. Like, your own sugars and shit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. 
Or your own honey, if you yeah, want like, to, I guess. I, yeah, but no, like, obviously, honey not, you know, come on. Yeah, bro. that's the like, classic. That's, that's the OG. It's classic. Like, it's just that one bad bitch that's like, you know what? I can't hate her, you know? It's she that one bad bitch you know? that stays bad throughout the years. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, damn, you know, she was bad back in the day, and look at her. Still, kid, like, still out here killing it. Yeah, yeah, you can't hate her. Saving right. lives at the same it, time. Uh-huh, you just like, all right, go ahead. The Tsunade of cereals. <laughs> For real, <laughs> fighting off modern yeah. daily, and we all know it wasn't her fault. <laughs> oh, it was this, bro. <laughs> it was not her. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That was just unlucky, bro. Hell no. Nah. Not even unlucky. I think I really said you're nothing compared to Hashirama. Like, bro, the god of Shinobi. I mean, yeah. <laughs> is that yeah. fair? True, fair, yeah, no, that's, yeah, you're right. right. You're, you're definitely right, yeah. sir. I'm not, I, I'm not as good as the person, the, the, the strongest that's lived, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that's absolutely right, sir. Damn. What, what would your last one be, Josh? What might your last one be? Um, and my last one is granola cereal. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I just... Look, I love a good jaw workout. Don't we all love? <laughs> nope, you can't be saying that one. No, <laughs> Yo, no. I don't care what month we in. I don't right, care right, what right, month right. we in. No, <laughs> no, 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 son. Me, no, son. No way. No Yo, way. Me no way. Wasn't even no, 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 son. No, no, Josh. You Bro, the reaction that I, I did made that, as soon as you said that shit was just straight up like, I was, word? Even... I was like, word? <laughs> I wasn't I was... even thinking of it sexually. I'm not even going to cap. I wasn't until I realized. I was like, wait, a good jaw work. Oh, you <laughs> I was idiot. Like... <laughs> I was like, oh, what, bro, damn, what, like man. That. I Oh my god. I don't know about all that. Damn it, bro. Like, I got a Dodge Bean, not Bean represent. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to Dodge these niggas. Like, hey, what did you say about? Like, ah, bruh, bruh, just shoot me already. Hey, man, look, I'm just saying, we're trying to help you not get roasted, but you're making it real fucking hard. You're making it real fucking hard, bro. You were, you already gone. We on your team, 80 bro. In 20 years, bro. Like, I don't. Nah, bro. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm already the. <clears throat> the, the 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 weird looking web so fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll die on this hill. I'll die. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, jaw workouts and everything. You gotta get them jaw muscles going, bro. Okay, every morning, every day, nigga. I be drinking almond milk with that granola cereal, nigga. What, what, what you, bro? you ain't doing no damn jaw workout. What you doing? Eating your Ice cream cereal. What are you with? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. And then you go pop in and get a little rice crispy treats. Later on, you little fat fuck, nigga. You gonna get type two diabetes? Why you at it, bro? Look at you. Look at you pulling up to the doctor's office. Hey, y'all, you got COVID? Nah, nigga, I got diabetes. Look at your fucking man. Hey, there are niggas who are diabetic that don't just plow down sugar. You just got fucked. <laughs> Hey, nigga, I, you I didn't edit that out, so. nigga. You didn't edit that out. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm, I'm a high blood pressure, nigga. Bruh, like, I, you know what? I, I'm, I'll die on this hill. <laughs> Damn, he's really sticking to that <gasps> shit. Fuck them niggas. Oh, my God. Nigga, I, I, I don't even eat. Bro, tell me how they're going to be like, bro, like, you got all these problems, but I never even, I've been eating straight clean. So many you niggas just eating, bro. And I'm like, bro, no, 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 no. You deserve this, not me. Why do I have heart problems? Deserve? Anyway, um, anyway, uh, <laughs> deserve. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> granola cereal is my, you know, fifth. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay. I I gotta right. bring this up for the podcast. Okay, for people who don't know the lore, sometimes Josh has these moments where he will see red and he will go on like a like bloodthirsty rampage with words. <laughs> And he won't be thinking about what he's saying, and he won't recognize what anybody else is saying. He will just keep going until it's over. That is what you just witnessed. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, you got to get a good uh, jaw workout, all right? All right. We're going to laugh, and then in the next, like, three to five years, Josh is going to be looking like a Giga Chad, and then we're just going to be sitting on the side, two beta niggas, worried about why the polygons in games ain't... <laughs> 
damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Go ahead, click me, nigga. <clears throat> I'm already twerking for 20 followers. Hey, why y'all niggas are so cheap, bro? Why are y'all so cheap? Like, come on, bro. Like, support oh, black business. Ah, well, you know, this podcast and all this, nigga. Like, yeah. bro, come on. Follow black Let's business, bro. We on socials, okay? Bro, we out here doing our thing. Bro, we can live stream on episode 20, bro. Follow the socials. If you follow and get us to 20 followers on TikTok, I will throw it back for the masses, okay? So shut up and just listen, He's been talking okay? About this since and episode black. It's kind of respectable. Yeah, exactly, bro. Black business, bro. You see the white man, bro? He's trying to bring us down with his energy, bro. He's looking at you like, yeah, I'm better than you. Nigga, like, bro, you don't want that. You don't want my man doing that, bro. Okay, so follow us. Come on, support Black Business. We out here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, Nick. What are your five? Um. All right. Just three hours to get through two people. Uh. So. I I no discernible order because I can't really. I don't really know what my favorite would be, right? But cereal I started liking a lot recently. And this shit, this shit, this shit is very, very sweet. It will kill you. But the waffle cereal, the Eggo waffle cereal? Oh, I didn't have it. I don't know what that is. That I, shit's I know good. about it, but I, I that know. That shit's good. That shit's good. And there's different flavor. The blueberry the flavor. Ooh, the Eggo waffle cereal. They have that as a cereal? Yeah. Yeah. Shit's, oh. Shit's so good. It, well, it is sweet as fuck. It, it kills niggas, but that shit's so good. And fucking... Uh, the blueberry flavor is definitely my favorite. That shit's... That's a heater. That's a banger. For sure. Um, Damn. Instant free diabetic. <laughs> God dang, nigga. Blue waffles? With what? Niggas gonna... Bro, no, they no, don't that? be saying that. Don't, no, that's I said blueberry. I said blueberry. Nope, nope, Mm-mm. nah, not that one. Nope, no, nope. not right now. Not here. Good try though. Try again next time. Nope, disagree. Do they got like a, a maple syrup? Yes, they do have one. They do have one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where, I'm not. Die over that. Too, but hey. uh, I ain't sliding over that. I ain't sliding over that. I ain't sliding over what you said. I heard what you said. It's all right. No, it's okay. I didn't say shit. I'm just no, you didn't say shit. Josh said something. But anyway. I'm just making I... sure you and me heard the same thing. Egg and waffles. <laughs> Number one. Okay. Not necessarily in the tier. Yeah, yeah, in the, in the order. That's just the first one I brought up. Um, I will say the classics, you know, the, I do, I do like some classics. I do like the cinnamon toast crunch, you know? Like, that's just like, a, I don't know, man. Um, Something different. You know, it. it's the classics are classic for a reason. I like the cinnamon toast crunch. I like the honey nut Cheerios, you know? I like, uh, I may even dabble in a, in a frosted flake or two from time to time. Okay. But, um, let's see. So, like, cinnamon toast crunch would probably be, like, what I'd say second. Um, just because this is the classic. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Um, Cookie Crisp. I don't know why. it's. I don't think it's that, like, it's not, like, the best tasting cereal, but I've just liked it ever since I was really, really young, so I still like it now. That shit doesn't move in the heat sometimes. What? Oh, yeah. The Cookie Crisp? Yeah, because it got the cold. Yeah. Yeah. I Jesus. It's, it. it's got the little flakes on it. I think it's just too big. So it's just like, you'd be having like two in it's one spoon true. or some shit. Yeah. I've actually true. never had You're it. You're taking a whole damn it's lunch really break, honey. It's a bowl uh, of cereal. Honorable mention, uh, instead of Cookie Crisp, there is the Chips Ahoy cereal. That is I really, got Chips Ahoy cereal? Yeah, it's really sweet. And uh, I've tried a lot oh of different God. cereals. Like, I've tried a lot of different cereals. Uh, and this is pretty good, but it's that shit. I cannot have a lot of that shit. Yeah, instant cavities. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And my teeth already bad enough as it is. But, oh, um, dang. Yeah, Chips Ahoy cereal is alright. Yeah, you want to know what's crazy? They got Oreo O's. Oh, God. It's Oreo uh, cereal. This is not so Every cookie brand was just like, bro, cereal time. Yeah. Um, 
So for my fourth one, I'm gonna bring up one that PJ already brought up. <clears throat> Apple Jacks. I do like some Apple Jacks. Bro, ever like since that man Cinnamon just came up on the scene. That man Cinnamon really, really he changed the game with that he changed one. Changed the game, bro. He changed the game with that one. Um and what's my last one? My last one might be like uh What's my last one? My last one may be Count Chocula. Oh word? Oh yeah. I'm a big Count Chocula fan. Interesting. I like a lot I mean I like chocolate. Chocolate anything really. So like you just give me a cereal with chocolate and I'm like I'm gonna go crazy. You know? <clears throat> Unless it's Cocoa Pebbles. Fuck Cocoa Pebbles. Damn! Are you aiming the gun at? Bro! I don't know, bro. It's a Pebbles, bro. Pebbles. The Pebbles just don't... It's like the same thing as Rice Krispies. It's a, yeah, it's it's not not it's way rice. better than Rice Krispies. Bro, they have the fucking... They got the build of a five-year-old with no... <laughs> Never mind. They're fucking fine. Bro, Booty Pebbles? Booty okay, <laughs> slaps, bro. It's not that they're not good, like, tasting. It's just, like, dude, you have about five seconds before you pour this bowl in. Like, after you pour the milk in, bro, you have legitimately T-minus five seconds to eat this entire fucking bowl, or else it is going to be straight up mush. And then there's also, it gets stuck on the sides of the bowl. You can never finish all of it. Wait, bro. Listen, takes forever to finish because it just be getting stuck on the sides of the bowl. Hey, bro, we already pre-diabetic, so. <laughs> hey, bro. I fucking hope not. I ain't trying to deal with that shit. I don't know. I could be. I could not be. I'm, the only person I know in my family that has it is my uh, aunt, but that's because she don't take care of herself, like, at all, so. My grandma had it, so <laughs> I don't know if that shit is fucking what it's called. Where it's passed down. Yeah, uh, hereditary. Hereditary, know. yeah. And it, it, that sucked though. Hereditary, and it skips a generation. That sucked. That would be. That's easy. literally the that, plot that's the to uh, Tekken. The that's the plot to Tekken. That's why Hayachi's so mad at everybody. Oh yeah. Because Hayachi's right. like, I didn't get the double. Gene. I didn't get the double gene, and this nigga did. And oh. then he just gets colder than everybody, anyways. Tragic. <laughs> He's just like, I don't have the double gene, so I'm just gonna start fighting so well that. Nobody can hang. Even devils. It's like, okay, cool. Hey, niggas, if you learn anything, man, just eat healthy. <laughs> Save true. yourself the time. God dang, you don't want to be going to the hospital visits. $60,000, you know, come on. So did, the, oh, the American economy, which is good. I'm saying he said that like he spent 60000 on a hospital. Yeah, he might have. Nigga, I spent 8000 God, it, it was over some, over some small shit. Yeah, that oh, made them. They don't care about this bitch. Yeah, that's God, a ninety-seven point four out your goddamn wallet. That's for sure. Taking everything Bruh. you own, my nigga. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't care, bro. You be going in that bitch like, bro. My back hurts. Niggas like, all right, let me see your chest. What? What? <laughs> all right, bro. Take this. What is this? This is for chest pain. My nigga, I said my back hurts. Yeah, no, chest pain. What? Bro. Bro. That's actually for been real. such a long time since I've been to a doctor, dude. I don't go. Yeah, I don't either. Man, Western medicine sucks, man. Yep, because Western medicine sucks. And also, get this. Hospitals cost a lot of money. Money? For yeah. Hospitals? Those things don't even go together. Yeah, it's really. Yep. The only reason I don't go is because it's like, am I dying, nigga? No. Exactly. I can figure it out. Exactly. Fuck it. Like, I'll, I'll be better off. I'll be better off <laughs> solo in this bitch. Barring me being like fucking shot. Yeah, barring me being anything close to dead as hell. <laughs> barring me literally having like. COVID. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not going in. Straight up, man. Am I dead as hell, sir? Uh, no. Alright. I'm good. Mm -mm. Said less. 
Sir, if you don't get this treated, I, Ed, am I gonna die? No, but all right then. I'll I'll just solo this. Mm -hmm. I'm a gambler, man. I'll figure it out. Not a gambler, man. Gamble with your life. <laughs> Welcome to Kaiji, boys. <laughs> uh, tragic. Very good show, by the way. <clears throat> I'm a very all right, nigga. Fan. I pulled out all the lighthearted topics. It's up to y'all. Oh, did did you have a did you have a serious one you wanted to? Oh end no, off I on? did not. No, I did not. Not this time around. Okay. You got a second topic, Josh? Hell yeah. Right. Uh, um. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are, you know, actually keeping a, up to date, but you know, E3 around mm -hmm. the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much already started. Um, yeah. Honestly, I just kind of, because I'm not going to lie, um, I'm not really too hyped for any games at this point. I've oh, been watching sorry. like, yeah, like uh, that was like the only thing that I was hyped from. And then um, today they showcased the Ubisoft event. And they, you know, they had, uh, whatchamacallit, um, they had Far Cry 6. Uh, and yeah, the only reason yeah. why I cared about it was because of John Carlo, uh, the nigga that did Gus in uh, Breaking Bad. He's that nigga, so I was like, you know, let me see what this mm -hmm. is going about. So that's like the only reason why I'm even still interested. Do we even in know Far what Far Cry 6 is about? Uh, I mean, as far as I know, it's just like it's kind of centered around the plot of uh, the John Carlo's character. Um, oh, he's the main character. Well, no, he's like the antagonist. They put oh, him okay. in a villain role again. And uh, I don't know. It's some dude like... Okay, so he's... Obviously, you know the whole premise of these Far Cry games. Where it's just like there's always like a dictator, you know, ruling over these like yeah, small... Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, places and shit. Yeah, so like, I, I guess... I don't know. Like, we don't know that much from the trailer. But we do know that like... He has something in cahoots with this 13-year-old boy. And... um. I guess he can like he instantly kill anyone at any time, and he's using the boy to extort like I guess like maybe like I think human trafficking stuff like that. I might okay. be wrong, but that's as far as we know. Um, it looks like the main character might be like a female because they were like kind of showing this one uh, chick that looks like Chloe Fraser and Loki and like, her best I like the friend was like Nadine. Yeah, bruh, she she dead ass looked like Chloe Fraser. I was like, dang, okay. I do like the sound of that. Can't deny that. <clears throat> yeah, so um, Lord, that's Apex all off I, of Jay. No. Yeah. We, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we we already crossed the bridge, so might as well go full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, um Yeah, yeah, pretty much that that was it. And then this is one game called Kina. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Mm -hmm. Um it's kinda like a it's like a Disney game, but it looks like it gives me some like Horizon Zero Dawn vibes at the same time. Um, some real like if, if Pixar were, or like Disney were to make a, a game, like I don't know, like it's giving me those vibes, like Mulan vibes, you know? Um, and it looks really fire. I think it's coming out later this year. Um, so I look forward to that. I actually feel like. I low key might make a playthrough, so who knows? Um, but it looks fire. Other than that, um, the only thing I was like, I actually wanted to ask you all the question if you guys were looking forward to any games. But the only game I was really looking forward to, or at least the only event, was Devolver Digital. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they make indie games, but mainly is because they also they have Gris under their belt, well, and so. You know why I always pay attention to Devolver Digital is because I'm still waiting for HM3. I still want Hollow Knight mm -hmm. 3. Because that was announced. Yeah. Like, years ago. I mean, there's, mm. like, there's Midnight Animal, which is like a prequel thing, which is already out, but... Yeah, I want, yeah. I want Hollow Knight 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That they didn't, honestly... The show, the event, was more, like, entertaining than, like, the games. They were really actually trying to promote um, their new Devolver Digital Premium 
a uh, pass. And, and bruh, like these things are funny, bruh, because every single time they promoted it in the, uh, each of their uh, segment of showing a game ended, they'd be like, Devour Digital Max Premium Purchase. And it's just like it, like you know that whole like, like those <laughs> those females that do the porn ads and stuff. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was what they were doing. Yeah, yeah that's that a very funny. devolver thing. That's a very devolver thing. They do they do like the haha meme <laughs> events. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but overall, man, like I didn't get no gris too. I ain't, you know we ain't get no hotline Miami. It was just yeah. mainly to promote that. So I was kind of bummed out, but you know. You know, hopefully they can digital, do a uh, part two of Gods Will Be Watching that's, like, not a letdown, maybe? I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gods yeah. Will Be Watching was really good. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Very obscure game, actually. Well, not super obscure, but, like, a lot of people don't talk about it. Gods Will Be Watching was a really interesting game and a really interesting concept for the game at, or a game at the time. And the demo was really good. But then mm-hmm. the game actually came out, and it was a lot of, like, it just was, it kind of fell short. Mm-hmm. I, want, I, want, I, want, I want them to try it again, because it, it seems really cool. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I, I mean, I haven't, I, I need to li- check the list, but as far mm-hmm. as, like, the dates for the press conference, um, I think tomorrow... What is tomorrow? I is think it, tomorrow's tomorrow Xbox. Xbox and, e- and Bethesda? Tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hold on. I Let me look so. it up right now. Uh, 2021 schedule. I'm looking it up right now. Um, okay. So that and uh, Nintendo is the only things I'm really so honestly high for. Let's see. Um, hold on. This, this is taking forever. Uh, so yes, the thirteenth is the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, and then okay. the thirteenth is also Square Enix. Wait, what is the thirteenth? Oh. Yeah, thirteenth is Xbox, Bethesda, and Square Enix. So that's tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Um, and then <sighs> Capcom. Capcom's the fourteenth. Bro, what? And then Dog. Nintendo and Bandai are the fifteenth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm just really hyped for Xbox because, you know, nigga, what are they like? I I really hope they like they come out with something. They've been, man. They've been something. doing some shit recently. Hold up now. Yeah, talking about. No, Xbox. I mean I'm not saying that they're not, but yeah, we're talking about Xbox. But I'm I'm just saying like, like like as far as exclusives go, you know, like like PlayStation's just like yo like. Boom, 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 and I've been seeing like a lot of you know developers are like, yo, since PlayStation got the clout, I don't want to be you know under the guise of Xbox. I don't want to go through all of that. I want to make sure that people stay where every you know things at and you know where the party's sitting. So I don't know. I just I just want Xbox to win too, because it's like Jesus Christ. Like like other than like mainly, I would say people would go back to is Game Pass, but you know. Most niggas got like PCs and Microsoft Store, so it's kind of like you know. But I don't know. I just feel like give they gotta get something. E- give us a new exclusive IP, bro. I'm here for it. I'm down. Yeah. Give me the hey, next. I want to see y'all win too. I'm chilling. There you give, go. Give me, give me something. Give me not not even like the, a new Halo game. Just give me something that's like like a Halo for you. Some new shit for you to focus mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, y'all can't keep doing Gears of War and think that that's not they're gonna not. flop eventually. I'm calling it, bro. They're probably gonna pull some shit with Bethesda. You don't just oh, yeah. bag Bethesda and then be like, all right, yeah, just remember, like, that's my only thing. Is I'm Elder like, Scrolls bro. Six Xbox yep. exclusive. Xbox, I'm bullshit. I'm like, I swear to uh, God, I'm fucking Xbox. You uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, getting one. Asshole, man. Yep, I'm like, I'm not fucking getting one. I'm sorry. No, yeah. I can see them making like an original like FPS RPG IP for Xbox though. I can see that. I don't think they do um, Elder Scrolls Six though. I don't think they do ES. I don't think they do ES Six, but I think they'll do something with Bethesda. Yeah, and I think, like, I think it, that's it fine. wouldn't make any sense. No, I mean you own them, so it's like you know whatever. Yeah. No, I'm here for it. I want to huh. see Xbox get some new exclusives. I want to see a, a reason for Xbox to be like a, comp- a competitor. You know. We're long yeah, because gone from the days of Halo 2 and Halo Reach, you know? Like, yeah. 
the more the competitors, the more better games. That's true. Um, <coughs> I'm not super hyped for Nintendo. All the Nintendo shit I kind of care about is already happening. Here's here's how here's a Nintendo E3 for me, right? Nintendo E3 mm-hmm. is fucking. I want obviously there's the new Smash character, so whoever that's gonna be, right? Because they're they're not gonna not reveal mm-hmm. Smash character E3. That'd be stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, give me now. This is what I I hope for. This is unrealistic, but this is what I hope for. Okay. I want F Zero. Give me a new F Zero game. I have been waiting for so fucking long to play some goddamn F Zero, bro. Give me an F Zero on the Switch, please. Bruh. To, this That's year just to be thinking the, of that. And then, I mean, yeah. there's the meme of, like, the localizing Mother 3, you know? And it's like, obviously, I want mm-hmm. that. I want them to bring Mother 3 to the U.S. But That'd be a great way. segue to promote the Switch Pro, too, you know? Like, mm-hmm. since, you know, that's all those new spec bumps. And then on top of it, a uh, so launch release game. Release a launch racing game with it. Because racing yeah. games are always, like, the ones that you use for the, you know, the graphic simulation, Launches. essentially. Yep. Yeah. So it's like, give me F-Zero, baby. I'm here for it. It don't even gotta have a plot like the last ones. I just wanna play some F-Zero. Go ahead, then. Come on. I just want some F-Zero. That's all y'all need to do. That's all y'all need to do. Dang. Um, okay. Okay. Real last question. Do y'all think Bethesda's gonna talk about ES6 at all this year? They have to. You think so? They have to. There's no other opportunity for them to do this. It's 2021. When was the last time that you announced ES6? It was like 2016, I think. Exactly. There's no way. Look, I'll say this. Only Square Enix can get away with holding the game from niggas for 13 years, and that's because they're backed by Disney. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Either you start talking about ES6 or niggas are going to be like, bruh, if if you just pull an arc, if you just fucking yank and chains, nigga, I'm not down for it. We, uh... mm-hmm. Plus, it's like, are you really gonna t- like? The only thing is, they might do ES6 and ESO. That's the only negative. Yeah, because you know it's still kind of going. I don't fucking play it. I played it for a bit, and it was pretty fucking fun actually. But I like the I like know. the lore that ESO adds to the universe, but I don't like the game itself. You know. I just, I don't know, I'm not... Yeah. MMOs, for me, are very, very weird. Like, it's a very weird ground with MMOs. I haven't had a good MMO in a long time. That's exactly what I mean. Like, it's very, very weird ground. It's rare for me to have an MMO that I enjoy. Even though, like, no offense, I crave a fucking good MMO. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. POV or a Destiny 2 player. I mean, yeah, but I mean, let's let's get real here. I'm playing Destiny 2 right now. Yeah. Favorite game, but we all know this shit is Stockholm Syndrome, the game. Yeah, kind of like League. Mm. Nah, League is just slavery. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) League is just straight up slavery. It came for your soul, and it is gonna get that, bitch. There is Um, no option. So... Okay, Square Enix, what I'm excited for Square Enix is they're going to show off 16. Oh, yeah. I want to see some 16 oh, yeah. stuff. I'm chilling. I, li- I, I, I fuck with Final Fantasy. What can I say? Uh, I wasn't a fan until it replaced Skyrim, so, you know. Uh, There's, you know, you show off Final Fantasy 16, we're chilling. Um, mm-hmm. We're not going to get... The the new saga in Kingdom Hearts probably even though that'd be kinda Nah, I highly cool. doubt it. That'd be kind of cool. I'll get that bitch if I'm when I'm forty if I'm lucky. For real, for real. Fun fact: all of the fucking the the they they're still adding lore to Kingdom Hearts through fucking Union X, which is a fucking gotcha game. And well, Union X, so... they just added the last piece, and then Union yeah. X. Yeah. 
Um, but the thing is, like, a lot of that lore is, like, big deal shit. Oh, yeah, no, nah, it's fucking... And it's like, you hit it in a fucking mobile gacha game. Sick, dog. They do the Yo. same thing with fucking, uh, they did the same thing with, what is it? Um... It wasn't EUNX, it was the one that was before EUNX came out, I'm pretty sure. I know which one you're talking about. But I'm like, pretty sure um... it was in the same, uh, like, vein as EUNX. Yeah. And like setting and shit. I have a friend. Uh, I have a friend named Choco that plays. Uh, he plays it, and not because he likes it. He thinks it sucks. But he's like, they keep on adding the goddamn lore <laughs> to Union X. So I have to keep playing this shitty fucking game so I can enjoy the other Kingdom Hearts games in the future. Yeah. I think that if it's not Dying Light Two, um. Dying Light. I'm honest. I'm honestly not sure what it would be if it's not Dying Light Two for Game of the Year. Um, Game of the Year this year? Nah, next. Isn't it gonna? It comes out too yet. late this year. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like in general, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure Dying Light is gonna be question, Game of the Year. Least, or I'm not sure. Big question, at least since we're like half halfway through the year. What do y'all think Game of the Year this year is gonna be? I don't even know what fucking games came out this year. I'm not gonna Resident hold you. Resident Evil Village. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, if niggas really push Dimit- Dimitriscu to fucking game of the year, I'm gonna be kinda heated. Uh Guilty Gear Strive just came out. Um okay. Hold on. Let me actually let me pull up a list just so I just so I I'm I'm getting everything right. Uh hey, I don't think there's a lot of games I like that came out this year that will be game of the year. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um I'm I'm looking at it right now. So uh nigga, this is not this does nothing for me. Shut up. I'm gonna pull up a damn Okay. Be like that. <laughs> so uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. <laughs> oh yeah, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Uh um Ratchet and Clank just came out. It did. I saw yeah, uh nice. critical play in that shit. Yeah. That that game looks really good actually. That might um, be game of the year to be honest. There's yeah. I can see it. It might. I can see, see it. it. I can see it. Um I'm trying to think what else what else. Uh Yeah, I can't think of anything. I'm I'm like looking just to make sure. Um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm like actually, I'm actively looking through stuff right now. Yeah, you sure? So. Um, I'm literally trying to remember. Like, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know what has come out this year. Off top, nothing that I can really say is like game changing for me. I think Bethesda has to talk about Elder Scrolls because I feel like right now is like a very decisive moment for just gaming in general. Or at least like year, like time wise. Yeah. Because there's so much shit that's like been really fucking with people. Like cyberpunk type shit where it's like you know, like you never have this like we're just getting like a bunch of shitty games. I feel like, mm-hmm. like yeah. half baked, half baked. Like half baked is the is the face of gaming right now, and it's crazy. Yeah, like people are craving for like a really good game to play, and that's why I think it's going to be Dying Light Two is going to get Game of the Year. If it's not Game of the Year, I think it's definitely going to get something because they did it smart. Like they did not hype that bitch up at all. Hmm. Like, you didn't even know Dying Light 2 was coming out until they were like, yo, it's here. Yeah, I saw that on Steam. I was like, oh. Legit. They were like, we finished it. Congratulations. Like, everyone else was like, bro, this is going to change how you play games. Yada, yada, yada. Like, this is going to change the game, period. And it's like, every time they say that, half-baked. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. Versus, like, if you just bring that shit, 
it's like, oh, dude, this game is amazing. What the hell? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, Outriders came out. Forgot about Outriders. I haven't watched that much gameplay to really know, but I didn't think that's about okay. that. I don't think it's, like, sick, but, I mean, that's that was a big game. Uh, There's the fucking... What's the game where you play as, like, the two fucking, like, puppets? It takes two. Yeah, that one came out this year. Oh, also, uh... Did Little Nightmares really... come out too? Come out this year? Little Nightmares that... 2 came out this year, I believe. Okay. Might have been the end of last year, though. The yeah. Monster, Hunter... Monster Hunter Rise came out this Bruh, year. Bruh, Among Us has been a take game of the year. Game that's been out, like, two fucking years. Exactly. They gonna yeah. give it to it. They gonna they give will. it to it. They will. Because all the streamers, I'm like, it'll be fucking Among Us. Minecraft finna win best game of all time. <laughs> Again. I mean, it's kind of, I don't think it's going anywhere, bro. I'm not trying to be that guy, but if anything is going to stand the test of time and like last that fucking long, it's probably going to be damn Minecraft. Yeah. Let's get real here, bro. Fortnite couldn't kill that shit. Yeah. Fortnite killed everything. That was like... Fortnite came to kill people. Yeah. And Minecraft just laughed and was like, you new here? I don't think you know who I am. Let me let me let me tell you something. Call of Duty, Call of Duty tried to kill me forty times. Still here, babe. You gotta know who it is. There's only one game I can think of off top that sold more than Minecraft. Was it on the PS2? No. That's oh, Tetris, seriously? baby. Tetris cheap. That's Tetris. Tetris is literally the game. Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, no, no. What are y'all? What are y'all like? Especially looking forward to, or like, what would want to see from E3 this year? Just tell me what the name of the game is, bro. <laughs> yeah, six. That's all I'm asking. Is just tell me what the name is, or at least tell me where the fuck I'm going. Jeez. Hmm, man, I want to tell me where I'm going, bro. Gonna change the whole. Just kind of like how you know, Skyrim. You know. All... All these games that did what they did in the past, like, I want a new game that's just gonna, like, wait, hold up, like, this is new, you know? I think in order for that to that's happen, to I'm not saying that that's not possible, or, like, not, not possible, uh, like, I don't disagree, I want that, but I feel like if anyone's gonna pull off, like, that whole, like, game-changing ass game, in my eyes right now, the king of just, like, making unexpected bangers is it's fucking Nintendo. Yeah. Even though Nintendo, yeah. I fucking yeah. hate them. Fucking hate <sighs> Nintendo. They got good games, bro. The reason mm -hmm. that I think it's gonna have to be Nintendo is because, like, Nintendo's, like, the only nigga who since, like, the dawn of their creation, they've the just remained the tried and true. Like, we're just gonna focus on making the game. <laughs> oh shit, Nintendo! That totally reminds me. I want to see uh, No More Heroes three shit at E three. I want to see them. Oh yeah, no that's true. I want them to show like gameplay. Hmm. Yeah. Because I mean, Breath of the Wild, bro. As much yeah. as niggas hate on that game, that shit was for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. In a lot of ways. I mean, without oh. Breath of the Wild, I don't think we'd have Genshin. Yeah, that's true. And Genshin, Genshin is... Genshin yeah. is goddamn culture, bro. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> Nigga saw Eula and said, Oh, wait, this game got some oh. culture in it, huh? Stop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Y'all see y'all heard about that uh, Pokemon gun game? <laughs> Pokemon Hunt? Gun game? We shooting yeah. niggas? Pokemon Warriors yeah, I... a game? No, it's not an actual Pokemon game. I oh, think okay. it's just like it looks like a Pokemon, like they actually have like Pokemon in it and like they're just shooting up like other I don't know. What, what the fuck? Call it? It's called Power Wars or something like that. Pikachu got a Glock now? Wait, what's it called? 
I think it's called Pal's World or something. I might be wrong. Or you can just search up Pokemon Gun, <laughs> and you'll just know, you'll probably... it's like Google Google searches these days. Yeah, it's called Pal World. Yeah, if you watch that trailer, it's just I dad thought it was just Pokemon started pulling up with straps, bro. Like niggas pull out the big Draco, bro. I was like, oh, snap. Like, these niggas got guns now? Like, why? They pull out a big Draco? Call that a Draco meteor? I got guns. Call that a Hold Draco up. meteor? Hold up. That's kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. Hey, how much we got? Dragon type? Oh. I'm sp Dragon type? I'm spitting flames? Well, in right, my man, zone, we that's a Zen meteor? Oh, all right, bro. You giving them too much, bro. Not right. We <laughs> niggas are gonna take your bars. Someone's gonna use them, get famous, and then we're all just gonna sit here like motherfucker. Mm. Motherfucker stole that shit. I know where that shit was from. <laughs> I I I heard it. I was there. It's inception. I was there, I was there from when it was, I was created. There. I was there at its creation. At the dawn. So yeah, fucking. fucking These are you stealing bars? <laughs> this this seems like a good place to end it off. I mean, is there anything, any last words you guys want? You know, I'll I'll ask y'all a question to end it off on. All right. What is something really obscure that you wish had more clout? Obscure that had more. Clout? Yeah, it can be a show, it can be a series, it can be a game, whatever. Uh. Mm. Hmm. That's a good question. I gotta think of obscure shit first. <laughs> Why obscure? You talking just like channel. just not very well known? Huh? Like slept on something that yeah. slept on the dead? Like something oh, okay. super? Something that you deem as like super slept on? That you wish had more clout? He said super slept on. Okay, that changed a bit. Damn. Mm -hmm. There was a ton of super slept on games. Kind of relating back to that uh, World. Was it episode 12 or 11 or what 11. was it when we were 11 talking was about when we talked about games. 11. World. Yeah. World? Oh, there World. you have it. The, the artist? World, the artist. Yep, I agree. World, the the producer. EDM. Yep. Very good. Like I, I agree with that. I fuck with world. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just put it out there because fuck it. World Porter and Medeon. Oh yeah. Just all three. I see that. I like that. I like that. Kind of a collective, a little bit. Okay. How about you, Josh? I was gonna think of a game, but actually, this is a it can be channel. Anything, bro. It can be any okay channel. Um, I mean, I'm sure y'all heard of them. Obviously, uh, Dead End Hip Hop. Hundred, my bad. Or or that, or that too. I didn't want to be the <laughs> narcissist in the room. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I don't care. Thank anyways, <laughs> anyways, who who's channel? What channel? Uh, Dead End Hip Hop. Um. Okay. Yeah, that honestly, I mean, obviously, when you think of like hip hop reviews or like, you know, music review, people who review music, you might think of them in, you know, oh, yeah, dead in hip hop. But honestly, man, like they don't make as much views as I feel like they should be, especially mm -hmm. like the, their content nowadays is really, really hilarious. And that. like they really go yeah, in yeah. sight, like, if you really need a good review of like a hip hop album, like they got you, and it's just crazy how like <laughs> you know they're not really up there as far as like you know music channels. Yes, yeah, because when you think of music channels, it. there's like three big channels you think of, right? It's like mm -hmm. Anthony Fantano, Sean mm -hmm. C, and CDTV. So it's like those are the three you really think. Yeah. Of. Yeah. Exactly. Granted, I'm a fan of Sean C and CDTV. Anthony Fantana, it can be a little 
weird sometimes, but you know, he's he's been here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll respect it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I like that. As for me, it. as for me, it would be a uh, a series, a very slept on series that's really hard to find, <laughs> called uh, Gregory Horror Show. Ooh, it never is, heard of it. It's it's fun. It's a fun one. It's a uh, it's technically a horror series. Um, I guess without elaborating too much or spoiling anything, it's. You got like these weirdly drawn characters. They they look like um paper crafts. And they're mm-hmm. all like different types of like animals or monsters. And uh you're like basically it's like f- you're watching the show from a first person point of view of whatever character is the main character. So think of it as like you're playing a game with a silent protagonist but it's a show. And you're just watching the events unfold in this mansion that you got lost in. Well, it's more like a hotel. It's a hotel, I think. I don't remember exactly. It's like a mansion or a hotel or something. And, like, all the guests are, like, these different types of, like, monsters and stuff. And it starts getting, like, crazy. And one of my one of my favorite episodes is one of the least scary episodes, but it's one of my favorite nonetheless. And it's not super related to anything else that goes on. But they introduce a character named Cactus Gunman. Get this. He's a cactus. He's a cactus man. He's he's a he's a cactus man. He's a man who is a cactus. And he's a cowboy and he's Spanish. So he's a, he's a Spanish cow, a cactus cowboy named Cactus Gunman. And there's a there's a part in the show where you duel him. Cuz the main character is meant to be from your perspective. So it's like it's you. So you duel him. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Mm. It's pretty sick. And there's like three seasons. The third season, not as good as the first two, but not bad. The biggest problem with the third season is that, unlike the other two, it is from the perspective of Gregory himself. Because Gregory is like the main guy, I guess. He's like the guy that runs the bitch. He's technically a villain, but he also helps the uh, main character as they go along on their journey. So it's like weird. But he's... the The third season is about him. Rather than, like, from somebody else's point of view. And so, like, you're not watching it. You're just watching a show at that point, And it's kind of, it's, it's, it's still kind of good, but it's, like, weird. It's not, like, the first two at all. And it also takes place on the train. Mm, there you have so, it. Yeah. Sounds dope. Yeah. I'm a fan. If you can manage to find it, it's probably, there's probably, like, they're, they're probably findable on YouTube. If you, like, really search for it. Um, mm-hmm. Very good series. Great series. There you have it. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Any parting words? I think that's mm-hmm. it for me. Yeah. For that's yeah. pretty much it. We're at Black Business, you know? Socials, everything. Find us in the description. I was oh, gotta know. Josh is at like 550 something. Come on now, bro. Get this nigga to 600. Get him to 600. Josh got 1500 on YouTube. Follow this man on TikTok. Bro. He's actually funny. That's and I'm not saying that because I'm his friend. I'm saying that because if you're shitty and you're not funny, I'm just not going to watch you. So. <laughs> that's very Appreciate that's that. Real shit. What black business, man? And there it is. All go. right. Um. I got nothing else to say beyond that. That was a that was a good episode. Yep. Yeah.